Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. your dreams, guys, but that's not a movie poster. It's a wanted poster. A wanted poster? Huh? A wanted poster? What have you done, Sam? Me? Nothing at all. I've done nothing, I'm telling you. Sam has been naughty, and now there's gonna be trouble. <clears throat> oh, no! That must be the dog pound coming to get Sam! <laughs> Mr. Livingstone, hello. I'm Mrs. Itby, Arlette Itby, and I've had a call from my veterinarian, Mr. Vetovic, who tells me that my cat, Tom, is here with you. What's that, Tom? I don't believe we have any Toms here. No, honey, are there any Toms here in this house? Tom, my cat, the one I lost? Incredible. Sam is called Tom. That's crazy. Yes, but it means he's not our Sam. That's incredible. Sam has a boy cat. Not a twin, that's a real cat. That just so happens to look exactly like Sam. We had no idea our Sam had another home before coming to us. We're really sorry. We're awfully attached to him. Perhaps we could reach an arrangement. Out of the question. That is my cat. He belongs to me and I want him. I want my Tom right this minute. <laughs> so Sam, you're living a double life, are you? Or should I say a triple life? But it's not him! Tom is a real cat who happens to look like him. That's all! How appalling. Two Sams? How can nature be so cruel? You gotta help us find Tom fast. If I let take Sam away and realizes he's a wild boar, it'll be a catastrophe for us. Let me think this through. No more Sam. No one making noise during my naps. <gasps> Catastrophe indeed. Listen to your heart, Victoria. Listen to it beating like a butterfly. Your share of kibble plus Sam for the next three weeks. My share of kibble in just for one week. You're on. Let's start by going to see Fang. He spends his life outside. If something happened in the neighborhood, he'll know about it. Super. Thanks, Victoria. Mm -hmm. Hey, have you seen this cat? Let me think about this. Yes, I have. Right here. <laughs> so what's going on now? Have dogs lost their scent? Can't see behind the tips of their noses? Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's so funny, Fang. Uh, but anyway, have you seen them or not? Mm. Okay, that's enough. No more fooling around. I've got other things to do. There's a food thief hanging around the neighborhood. No way am I gonna let that culprit get away. I'm the only one who steals food around here. There he is! He's the one who stole my entire sardine and all of stock! Hand it back right now! Tom's the one you're after. Tom? Who's this Tom? Tom is Sam. Oh. But in fact, not Sam, but Tom who looks like Sam. See what I mean? That's enough! I know what I saw! Beware if I catch you anywhere near my food supply! Oh, oh boy, oh boy! I keep doing stuff I didn't do. This is horrible. Don't worry, Sam. The good thing is that we're on the right track. Apparently, Tom is the one pilfering the neighborhood's food supplies. The problem is, you're the one getting the stick. I mean, you're stuck with the blame. Well, whatever. All we have to do now is catch him. Sam, give me a chicken. Me? I don't have a chicken. It's OK, Sam. We all know you always have a chicken on you. But that's absurd. I've never had a chicken. Cut it out, Sam. We're brother and sister. I've known you since the day I was born. Even in the forest, you always managed to hide food on yourself. 
And actually, we'd like to know how you do that. You guys know the neighborhood? I just turned up and when I heard you talking about chicken, whoa! But this is incredible! Who are you? You could be my twin brother. Look, we've got the same paws. <laughs> yeah, and we've got the same ears. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me for interrupting your deeply moving encounter, but Tom, your name's Tom, right? Well, Tom, as I was saying, your master is very worried and she's out looking for you everywhere. You gotta go home! Are you kidding? The world is vast and I still have loads of places to explore. This is the first time in my life I've been outside and I'm as hungry as a boar. Yeah? Hey, if you're hungry, Come and have a snack at our place. The Living Stones are really welcoming and open. Oh, yes, come. We'll have a feast. There's loads to eat. Well, of course. I'll tag along. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. The resemblance is so amazing. You didn't say that Arlette was at your place. <laughs> Apart from one mole, those two are absolutely identical. <laughs> Phew! So our Sam's staying with us. What a relief! Let's celebrate! Here's a treat for all of you! Not you, Tom! You could choke or have an allergic reaction! Whittle Tom doesn't want a dreadful allergy, does he? Just because it's you, <laughs> Sam. This won't last for long. Thank you for everything. I'm so happy my little Tom is just fine. Congratulations, your pets are truly adorable. <laughs> Come on, little Tom Tom, time to go home. Freedom, comfort, and kibble heaven. Oh, mine. Oh, Sam, you ate everything up again? Oops. Mm -hmm. I'll deal with this. Uh, sorry, I thought I'd fed you. We had an agreement. Your share for one week. <laughs> hey, Sam! Come and join us! It's so comfy! Nope. <laughs> no deck chairs? What's got into him? <laughs> hey! What's different about you? Yeah. <laughs> uh, what do you mean? It's me. Right, I'm Sam. Look at my droopy Sam walk. Oh, I know. You cut your whiskers. <laughs> Phew. Come on, you've got to eat, Tom Tom. I ground everything up. That way there's no risk of you choking. <laughs> well done, little Tom Tom. As a reward, I got a surprise for you. Look how beautiful you'll be in this. I'm locking up all the doors and windows. That way, no risk of you wandering outside again. It's far too dangerous. <laughs> oh, no, Sam, not again. It's cool. I got this. Me. Oops, I forgot to feed you all again. Sorry. <laughs> Sam, stop that! <sighs> Wait a second, you'll get your kibble. Since when does Sam know how to purr? He's a boar! If Sam is purring, there's only one explanation. He's a cat! Oh no! Tom took Sam's place! Tom is Sam? I can't believe Tom actually did that! We gotta get rid of him before he settles in for good. To do that, we've gotta scare the daylights out of him. You think something can scare him enough to make him... Yes! We remove our costumes. When he sees us as wild beasts, Tom will take off to the end of the world. And who do we have here? Great to see you again, Sam. You remember what you owe us, right? Yeah, yeah, d -d 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 don't. Sam, if you don't give us back what you owe us, we're going to... I know what we're going to do with you. Listen, please, you're making a mistake. I'm not Sam. I swear, my name is Tom. That's a lie. We know you're Sam. Who would want to take his place? Yeah, I swear, it's true. It's because of Mrs. R. Let It Be, my master. She never lets me go outside, and I love going outside. Don't hurt me. I'll take you to him. Walk on ahead. We'll follow. Here. 
I beg you, please don't hurt Arlette. She may seem hard, but she's good-hearted. You found me! Where are the keys? In her pocket, but I'll try to get them off her. I'll wake her up. Don't move! Mm -hmm. I'll go. <laughs> so, like, you never have any chicken on you, right, Sam? <laughs> yeah. Tom, Tom, this time I thought of everything and I installed it. A... <laughs> a wolf! Help! A wolf? Help! Help! Where? Yeah. Help! Leave my master alone! <laughs> 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 You saved me from that big bad wolf. All that time I thought I was protecting you, when in fact you are the one who protects me. <laughs> We're back together. We're back together. What's all this dancing about? They're together all the time. We're back together. We're back together. We're back together. <laughs> Looks like everything's sorted out now. And it's thanks to us. Right, Sam? <gasps> Sam, no! Sam, come back! <laughs> Sam! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Why was I crying again? Um, because I wish I was a cat so I can eat kibble all day long and watch TV. Oh, yeah. Because I wish I was a cat so I can eat TVs and watch kibble. Day long, all? Oh, forget it, Sam. With my magic rainbow, I grant you happiness and wonder. Hmm? Thank you, Eugenie. Lily! Lily the Unicorn of Joy, just like in the cartoon. You don't look like a unicorn. It's a game. We're only pretending I'm Lily the Unicorn. <laughs> Lily the Unicorn. That's totally for babies. Hogwash! Lily the Unicorn is amazing! If you say so. Okay, Sam, put your costume back on. Let's go outside and play something cool, maybe, huh? <laughs> What's up with you guys? You're doing great. How about yourself? You should watch what you're doing. You nearly squished my face off, and I gotta go perform on Animal Star, you knuckleheads. What's that I hear? Who dares argue in the land of wonder? What on earth is that? Well, you know, the Masters had this unicorn come visit, but she was about to leave. Have you gone out of your mind? What do you think you're playing at? At least I look like a unicorn, right? Get inside and zip up your rabbit costume before the Living Stones get back from the market. There is no more Eugenie. Now my name is Gigi, the happy unicorn. Okay, let me explain. A unicorn is an imaginary animal, which means that outside the TV, they don't exist. If the Living Stones discover you like that, you'll blow your cover straight away, and you can say farewell happiness and hello to a world of horror back in the forest. Too bad, because I put my rabbit costume in the trash. So from now on, it's unicorn or nothing. We're home. Sam, haul him off in the house. Susie, come with me. <laughs> Susie, keep watch while I get her costume back. Where on earth did she put it? Alert! Alert! Mr. Livingstone is gonna put the market basket in Gigi's hiding place! Too late! I can't believe it! It's incredible! 
adorable. Have you seen this, sweetie pies? A unicorn. Isn't it magnificent? Hey, honey. I found a baby unicorn in the shack in the yard. Isn't it amazing? I've always dreamt of having my own unicorn. And to think you said they didn't exist. Oh, yes, indeed. Have you seen this, sweetie pies? Oh, hey, where's your genie? Uh, she must be having her afternoon nap somewhere. Quick, a selfie. I've got to get it on my Hamstergram account. You must be hungry, cutie pie. Kibble all around, my lovely furballs. It's not every day your dream comes true. So, who is it that said, farewell happiness and hello world of horror, yada, yada, yada? Not me. And here you can trot around to your heart's content. Hello, Mr. Snobby Nose. Let me introduce my lovely little marvel. A unicorn? <laughs> How ridiculous. Oh. It's the Animal Star TV show. Hello, yes. Huh? What do you mean? Mm. Animal Star canceled Alvarez. They found somebody better on a hamstergram account. Don't you realize what this means? It's an outrage. Which animal could possibly surpass Alvarez? Come on, you know what they say. See a unicorn and feel happy all day. Honey, mm. Animal Star wants a phone interview with you. They even canceled an Afghan Greyhound to talk about your unicorn. <laughs> Sorry, important call to make. Let me leave you with your new friend, Susie. This is amazing! What do you want to do now that you're a unicorn? I want to make everybody happy, duh! And to begin with, with my magic horn and rainbow power, I name you Deputy of Happiness! Yippee! Everything I dreamed of! Thank you, Gigi! Give me that remote control! Uh-huh! Uh -huh. Hush! With my magic horn and rainbow power, let me make your dearest dream come true! I name you Commander of the Remote Control! Mm. Banana pancakes! Win the holiday of a lifetime! And cream sauce with broccoli and... Sam, don't sulk! You heard what Gigi said! <laughs> with my magic horn and You're not through yet? There are folks trying to sleep around here. There's no need to be so unkind. Kindness is the food of life. Otherwise, it'll cost you one kibble in the naughty box. Pop mm -hmm. up. <laughs> and what are you gonna do next, you? Complaining is forbidden. That'll be two kibble now. But I don't have any. Don't lie to me. I know you stashed them under your pillow. Huh? Now you're up to three kibble. <sighs> Yes! With my magic horn, I can indeed make you happy. What is your dearest wish? We want to have the same litter box as Vic. Her litter box is the best. They say it smells like cotton candy. I'd like the same neckerchief as Alvarez. He never lets me borrow it. With my magic horn and rainbow power, all of your wishes will be granted! Hmm. Huh? Hey, what are you doing? That's my litter box. Don't worry, you can share Sam's litter box. What? No way! That's not nice. One kibble. Oh. Gigi, he wants to steal my hat. It's not a hat, it's my cravat. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Happiness is all about sharing. With my magic horn, I declare that Vincent has the right to wear his neckerchief hat every other day. Phew. <laughs> no complaints. One kibble in the naughty box. Yeah, totally but when everything is said and done, I decided to throw my legs. <laughs> <laughs> Say, dumbbells, quit the magic unicorn act, or there's going to be trouble. Boo hoo hoo! We're so afraid. <laughs> <laughs> You know that wild animals are forbidden in this yard. Well, so are imaginary animals, too. Really? See your unicorn? You'd better lock it up indoors right this instant or else. What's all this? Not more arguments. He started it. Ah, ah, ah. Give me your paws. With my magic horn, I offer the ribbon of friendship. Go make peace. Or else. 
You gotta listen to Gigi. She can make us happy using her magic horn. Ever since she turned up, I've had all the kibble I can eat. Ah, ah, ah! She's watching us, quick! Let's be peaceful! But that is disgusting. Alvarez, what has happened to your dignity and your cravat? Here I was coming out to post photos of you on Hamstagram. <laughs> How horrific! You leave me no choice, Alvarez. I'm going to have to replace you with a magic animal even more magical than a unicorn. And he will make it onto Animal Star. An animal more magical than a unicorn? Whatever could that be? I intend to steal the horn of that ridiculous unicorn and become magic in her place. I shall make it onto Animal Star and win back my master's love. What is going on here? Huh? A wild animal? I'm calling the dog pal. Huh? Aww. Hello, animal pal. Uh, can't you see the poor little creature is terrorized? She must feel so lost. I shall take her back to the forest myself right this instant. Give me all the kibble I can eat! Sam, there are worse matters at hand. If you're hungry, eat this. Thanks, Wash. Eugenie's costume, she hid it in her magic horn. I'm just taking the baby boar back to the forest. You can help me look for Eugenie when you get home. I'm Genie, what are you doing here, beautiful? You haven't seen a baby boar, have you? Huh? He got out through the window? Okay, I guess he must have set off home. Come on, I have to introduce you to our extraordinary new friend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Say, where did she go? Phew! I looked everywhere. Nothing. Our unicorn has disappeared. You know, honey, that's the thing with magic animals. They appear and disappear just like that. But when we have such a magnificent crew of fantastic furry friends, who needs unicorns to be happy? No, oh, you're right, honey. So, what are you watching, Lily the Unicorn? Ha! <laughs> that's for babies. We're watching Goliath the Dragon. Now that's cool! Okay with the dragon, but no fooling around this time, okay? Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. My boss is coming to dinner, and I want to see no one in the living room. Come on, hut hut, everybody out. Boy, how annoying, just when we were about to find out the identity of the guy behind the horse mask. And there's nothing to do outside. Inside is so much better. Say, life in the forest must have been a nightmare without TV. That's not true. We never got bored in the forest. We played tons of games. Yeah. How about we play Guess the Smelt? This game is far too easy for a fox. I'm gonna obliterate you. <laughs> a cinch! Gotcha, Sam! Well, you were saying, Washington? No! I wasn't ready. Let's start over. Maybe we should move in closer. It's a bit difficult for him, no? 
Yeah, too right. And anyway, he keeps walking off. Whoa! Watch out for the road! <laughs> <laughs> Alvarez? Is that you? Alvy! Mmm, it's soft, kind of sticky. This nose has got to belong to... Victoria! Maybe we should play something else. Why? What's the problem? Let's just say, Space and you don't seem to go together. Let's just say, you're hopeless. If that's the way it is, I quit playing. I'm going inside. So there, and besides, I want to find out who this horse guy is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the house is the other way! <laughs> Isn't that incredible? That dog crossed the whole country to get back home to its owners. Like everyone knows, the dog's sense of direction is second to none. Isn't that right, Washington? <laughs> A dog could never replace my GPS. Don't listen, boy. Your instincts will always be technology, hands down. <laughs> With my navigation assistant, I simply enter a destination and zip. I'm guided straight there. No ifs, no buts. I'd be very surprised a dog can do the same. Unless Washington is an expert in map reading. <laughs> My dog is a million times better than your dumb GPS. Oh, it depends on what you're looking for. Sometimes dogs are better, but sometimes nothing beats a GPS. I say get them both and you'll be happy. <laughs> Lunch will have a race. Washington against your GPS. That way we'll find out. <laughs> no brainer. I'm counting on you, big fella. Whoa! <laughs> At least there's someone here who recognizes my talents. <laughs> Do you really know what you're letting yourself in for? You have absolutely zero sense of direction. And if the boss wins, Mr. Livingstone is going to be very, very disappointed. And then he'll start wondering if his dog is really a dog after all. Maybe I overestimated my abilities. If you'll excuse me, I'd rather not watch this. Farewell, friends. Deep down, I loved you dearly. Enjoy your trip back to the forest. What am I going to do? Because of me, we all have to go back and live in the woods. We must find some way to win this race. Unless that GPS breaks down, I have no chance. Gotta confess, I am hopeless. <gasps> of course, that's it. We have to sabotage the GPS. Great idea, Wash. But that isn't enough. What about you? How are you going to find your way home? Oh, I know. Sam and I will lay a kibble trail back to the house. All Wash has to do is follow the kibble. <laughs> <laughs> what a klutz. Never leave a window open. Uh, what are you doing? I saw that on TV. Slip your paw through the car window and the door will spring open. Hmm. Say, <laughs> what does a GPS look like? Hello. What is your destination, please? Well done, Susie. Go on, sabotage it. Uh, okay. How? Huh? Just look for a cable and pull on it. <laughs> Have you done it? Have you sabotaged the PBS? You mean the GPS? That's what I said. Not yet. Right now, all we've done is get Susie tangled up in the glove box. In 800 yards, turn left. In 800 yards, turn left. In 800, eight, in 800 yards, turn wow. left. Wow, well done, Susie. With you pulling the strings, there's absolutely no way the boss will find his way back. <laughs> From the top of this hill, it takes exactly the same amount of time to get home by foot as it does by car. <laughs> My GPS knows all the shortcuts. It's not too late to give up before I humiliate you. Give up? Never. Very well. Count to, uh, let's say 1,000, then take off your blindfolds. May the best man win. One, uh, two, two, three, three four, four, five, five six, six, seven, seven 999, 1,000. Take it away, my beauty. Send us right back to where we came from. In 800 yards, turn left. So, where's the house? Well done, Washington. I knew I could count on your instincts.
kibble sand. Yeah, I got a little hungry along the way. Oh no, Sam! What are we gonna do? Without kibble, Wash will never find his way home. Why did you have to guzzle back the kibble? You already have a lot of food stashed in your costume. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you do, Sam. Your costume is always crammed with food. Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to see Livingstone's silly loser face. This is going to be fun. In 800 yards, turn left. Uh -huh. Just what I thought. It's uh, not the way it looks. Perfect. Wash is sure to recognize his favorite dog candy. <laughs> Don't be silly, Sam. I've got an idea. The rappers! Phew! We made it! Now all we have to do is wait for them to show up. Despite his weird face, his sense of direction will prove once and for all that Wash is a real dog. Hm? Uh-oh! There's something wrong! What? It's a wrapper from the dog candy! Sam! Yeah. Ah. That's strange. I've got this uncanny feeling of deja vu. In 800 yards, turn left. I'm sure I've already turned left here. In 800 yards, turn left. Oh no, Wash, what have you done? We're right back where we started! Yeah? <laughs> so lost, are we? <laughs> I knew it! A dog could never beat my GPS! Got a technical hitch? I might be lost, but at least my dog knows how to turn right! I don't my understand what went wrong! Maybe GPS. a big greedy warthog passed by and ate our trail? <laughs> Okay, if we can't help Wash without being spotted, at least we can create a diversion. A diversion? I'll take care of that. It's the least I can do. <laughs> ah, a wild boar! What's got into you, Livingstone? <laughs> In 800 yards, turn left. The boys got talent. But how do we get out of this mess? I have no idea, but I need you to guide me back to the house. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, Wash? It's about time. <laughs> what happened? Why are you all alone? <laughs> but, but it's me. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, something's happened to my husband. <laughs> Here. Clear off, you beast! In 800 yards, turn oh. left. Thank you again for a magnificent day. The pleasure was all ours. And thank you again, honey. You really saved us. It's Washington who saved you. Ouch. <laughs> Gotta say, there's no way your GPS could have saved us from a wild hog. Uh, I must confess, I am deeply indebted to that dog of yours. This is one TV binge we definitely deserved. I will admit that just for once, you came through okay. If Susie hadn't taken control of the GPS, and if Sam hadn't ripped off his costume, I'd have been a goner. Sam, mm -hmm. where are Sam and Susie? <laughs> yeah, guys, where are you? Okay, I think it's dinner time. <laughs> In 800 yards, turn left. We're gonna win, we're gonna win, we're gonna win! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Quiet 
to be had anywhere? Yeah. And the champion of the most terrifying scream, you do me! Even her teeth are so scared they fall out. Oh my, I lost a tooth. Don't worry, it's just a baby tooth. I'm sure there's already a new one growing in its place. Mm -hmm. Hey, plant it in the yard. I heard an old oak tree will grow on top of it with tons of delicious acorns. Is it acorns that grow into acorn trees? Yeah, oh yeah. So then if we plant a tooth, it will make a... Ah, a teeth tree! <laughs> so maybe we should avoid that scenario by tossing it in the garbage. Most certainly not, you bunch of fools. Baby teeth are worth a fortune. What? what? In the city, when you put a tooth under your pillow during the night, a tooth fairy comes and gets it and leaves a present in exchange. <laughs> Don't you remember Biscuit, the little mouse who lives with the living stones? Mm -hmm. Well, Biscuit works part-time as a tooth fairy. <sighs> That's all nonsense! Yeah! I lost a tooth two months ago and Biscuit never <laughs> came with the slightest gift. Ah! Could be your tooth was too boring for him. Yours, Eugenie, is way more interesting. What's so special about my tooth? Well, for a rabbit, that's one huge tooth. And I can assure you, teeth like that are pretty rare here in the city. I'm sure you'll get an enormous present. Wow! Make a way better tooth fairy. Here's this. <laughs> Biscuit has made fun of us yet again. Well, why the long faces? You said that Eugenie would get a super present, and she got totally ripped off instead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, laugh all you want, but we haven't said our last word. <laughs> what do you want? Just what is this lousy gift, huh? Eugenie left you a super tooth, and she deserves a super present. Give us back the tooth. We're gonna see another tooth fairy. A real one this time. Too late. A deal's a deal. Can't go back on it now. And for your info, I've been running Baby Teeth Incorporated, the company that handles all the teeth in the hood for years. And for years, a rabbit tooth is worth a clothespin. No more, no less. <coughs> and one more thing. You can thank your lucky stars. Since it was a big tooth, I gave you a big clothespin. <laughs> Did you hear that, Sam? Yeah, it's my stomach growling. I've only had four meals today. Give you five kilos of cheese and uh, a muscle. Twenty kilos of cheese and a muscle. Uh, ten kilos and no muscle. Fifteen. Twelve kilos and half a muscle. It's a deal. Right. I have to organize transportation now. I'll be okay. Wow. Twelve kilos of cheese and half a muscle. <sighs> Eugenie got totally ripped off, and we've got the proof now. I'm gonna make a deal. What is it you want this time? <clears throat> Well, according to the latest news flash, it appears that Eugenie's tooth is exceptional and that its going rate on today's tooth market is about 12 kilos of cheese. And half a muscle. So either we get it back or we get the cheese. Too late. <clears throat> That's how it's gonna be. We'll have to resort to more forceful methods. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Because 
we tried to eat Biscuit a couple of times. You know how those mice hold a garage. You see? You're really actually pretty lucky. You could have gotten nothing at all. Mm -hmm. I believe you have something that belongs to us. <laughs> hey, you give me back my tools right now! Huh? That looks like a tooth. <laughs> Come on, open your mouth. It's for your own good, you know. You mustn't suffer in silence, darlings. Uh, listen, honey. The easiest thing to do is to get an appointment with the vet tomorrow morning. They'll know whose tooth this is. Huh? <laughs> well, given the size of it, I think we can count out Susie, no? Indeed we can, honey. Birds don't have teeth. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> If the Livingstones take the tooth to the vet, he's gonna tell them it's a wild boar's tooth, and then it's gonna be a one-way ticket back to the forest for all of us. What if we steal the tooth during the night? Huh. They'll see it's missing tomorrow morning, and they might suspect it was us. Too risky. Oh, I know. What if we replace it with Nugget's cat tooth? Mmm, brilliant idea, Eugenie. Yeah, well, hmm. good luck with that. Nugget and Fluffy's door is always locked at night. Susie! You could get it by flying through the window. So I could get swallowed whole by those two loonies? No, thank you. But I do know how you could get in, Wash. I just found a super video explaining how to use a clothespin. Voila! Whoa! Awesome catapult! Susie, get in position. Sir, yes, sir! Everyone ready? <laughs> Operation Clothespin will begin in five, four, three, two, one, zero! What? Sam, are your muscles made of silly putty or what? Pull a bit harder this time, okay? Zero! <laughs> Whoop! <laughs> zero! <laughs> zero! <laughs> zero! Set a bit harder, Sam, not super hard. If all you're going to do is yell at me, I need to stop helping. <laughs> what, what, what in the world was that? Washington? Mm -hmm. What are you doing here? Get out of here on the double unless you want to wind up in the dog pound. Yeah, yeah, uh, I come as a friend. Uh, actually, I come as a little mouse, uh, a fairy mouse. Biscuit sent me. Uh -huh. A dog fairy mouse? Yeah, that's it. And uh, since Biscuit doesn't have time to come pick up Nugget's tooth, he asked me to undertake this super important mission for him. But then that means I'm going to get a present in exchange. <laughs> What's the present gonna be, huh, Wash? Your present? Oh, yeah, uh, well, uh... <laughs> so, who's king of the deal? Oh, you know, the usual. Part of the deal. Nugget had no choice but to hand over the tooth. Oh, yeah? With nothing in exchange? Uh, uh, no, 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 of course not. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, two kisses. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, come on, we got work to do. Oh, yeah? Even if I tell you I've got that exceptional tooth and that I'm willing to make a deal? I thought the Livingstones went off to the vet with the tooth. Quite right. Except that as we speak, the vet is examining an itsy bitsy cat tooth. No doubt about it. This is a shark's tooth. Which means that the tooth belongs to none of our darling furballs. Now that's great news. Interesting. In exchange for the tooth, I'll give you two huge clothespins. Uh-uh. We want eight kilos of cheese and a whole muscle. You're crazy. Three kilos of cheese and no muscle. Six kilos and a muscle. Do you think 
Squash will be back soon, I'm starting to get kind of hungry. So? Let's hear it for the king of the deal. Check it out. What? That's all? Huh? Hey, it's better than a clothespin, no? <laughs> you can say that again, Wash. Who wants some? I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Never seen such a beautiful one. Sam, come on. Now you're not going to. <laughs> come on in, Wash. It's perfect. Get out of that mud now. Put your costume on. Someone could see you. <laughs> Yo, come on. We're alone. Wow! A shark! A shark? Where? 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 You don't see anything. Oh, that was just to get you out. <coughs> and it worked. Hmm. Mud baths are the only thing I miss about our life in the woods. And they make my fur silky and soft. Hey, look! It's acting like it wants to stay with me. Obviously, you stink of old mud for miles around. Now, come on, get rid of that fly. We're going home. Nope, I'm keeping it. You what? I feel a sort of connection between us. Something very rare, very powerful. No way am I getting rid of this fly. <sighs> I don't believe it. Now he's talking to flies. <laughs> What is that foul thing? Well, it's my fly. I adopted it. I'm warning you, if that thing comes anywhere near me, my claws are out. <laughs> what a cute little fly! Hey, another one. It looks like they really like me. Isn't that a surprise? Come on, kids. Let me show you all around your new home. Don't worry, Vic. It's just two flies. Uh, or rather, four. We would like to watch TV. Awesome! We're home! <laughs> uh -huh. What are all those flies doing around Sam? Yes, that's strange. I've never heard of cats attracting flies. Then again, Sam is unique. Luckily, there were only four. Huh? I need to talk to you, Sam. No problem, Wash. Here we are. Alone? Stay right there, kids. I'll be right back. Let's watch TV. We have to get rid of your flies right now. Oh, yeah? And do you mind telling me why, Mr. I'm so jealous? Because if the Living Stones start asking themselves too many questions, our covers are blown! A bunch of flies on a cat is too bizarre! Not a wild boar, it's a sign of social success! May I remind you that officially you are a cat and not a boar? May I also remind you that every other time animals have turned up here, we've been in big trouble! I'm not abandoning them! End of discussion! But they're just flies! <laughs> flies, perhaps, but flies who love me. <laughs> you and I are gonna get rid of those flies.
of that lounge chair. Hey, Lord of the Flies, why don't you all just buzz off? to stay nice and warm to hatch. If those flies are still here this evening, I'm kicking every one of you out. I'll take care of it. I just need to find an idea. Well, find it fast. Brilliant invention is the answer to all our problems. What's it for? Catching flies. You'll see. You just have to. <laughs> well, well, looks like you prefer sticking around. Well, duh! My flies need nourishment, too! Yeah? yeah, your flies need nourishment, too. Well, looks like you guys were hungry. <laughs> Darling, we have to call the vet. It simply isn't normal for a cat to attract so many flies. I guess you were right, Wash. I'm gonna have to get rid of... You know what I mean. Good, because I know just the way to do that. <laughs> well, well, what a lovely walk in the woods. <laughs> Yo, if only I had a bed of leaves to lie down in. <laughs> Let's go. See ya, pals. <laughs> oh no, not him! No! Uh, hi there, Mitch. Hi. Didn't expect to see you guys in this big of the woods. What do we do, Wash? They're almost here. Uh.
this time there's no choice, Sam. You gotta tell them they can't come with you. You know, a heart-to-heart -heart talk. Yeah, I know, but it's tough, Wash. I've grown really attached to them. It's the only way! <sighs> and that's the reason why I'm gonna have to go home without you. But I'm certain you'll be happy here, out in the fresh air. And I promise, I will never, ever forget you. Promise, Sam? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I promise, Wash. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. So, what's the surprise? You'll see. If we don't leave soon, we'll miss the lunar eclipse. Just one minute. I've nearly finished. Here we go. System activated. Now I can control the whole house. I am a one-man smart home wizard. What's a smart home whiz head? No idea. But I think we're about to find out. Allow me to demonstrate. Greetings and welcome to the Mirage Home Automation System. Your remote assistant smart home dream wizard. Dinner is served! No! Oh. Wow! Ah. Ah. And you haven't seen nothing yet! Oh. <laughs> this is incredible! Yeah! Incredible! And that isn't all, but we have a lunar eclipse to catch! Don't worry, honey. It'll be all right here when we get back. In the meantime, my furry friends, I've prepared a special program for you. Here we go. Nature sound activated. See you tomorrow morning. This is going to end in tears. Good luck. <sighs> but this is terrible. It's like we're back in the forest. Don't worry, guys. I've got it. This here tablet is where it's at. When he says I've got it, that's when we start worrying, right? Nature escape deactivated. There you go. Just ask the expert. Okay, let's see. Why don't we create a little atmosphere? How about a little music? Now that's what I call music. How about a little massage? <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah! Hey, 
not sure if it's a good idea to play with the tablet, Washington. Of course it is, Sam. You'll see. The possibilities are endless. Hey, that sounds like... Kibble! Uh, what? That's enough kibble, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I'll go look for the stop button. Just a second. No need. I got it covered. It's okay. I found it. Tropical scape activated. Wow. Is it getting hot in here or is it me? <laughs> yeah, a bit. <laughs> I'll sort this out in no time. How about we press that big green button there and stop the whole thing? Don't worry, Eugenie. I have the situation under control. You'll see. Adjusting to maximum temperature. Huh? You think my costume is melting, Wash? <laughs> Alert! Toxic matter detected! Quarantine commencing! Disinfection of premises! Five, four, three... Quarantine complete! Uh-oh! Quick, hide! What was that alarm? We never get a moment's peace around here. Those neighbors sure are a wild bunch. Oh. Come here, you sleepyhead. Uh-oh. I think we got a tiny problem. You know we're wild animals? No, Sam. We're locked outside. Oh, no! No costumes, no kibble! <laughs> Stop! You'll wake up the whole neighborhood! But what are we gonna do? Breathe deeply. Everything is gonna be fine. And let's just keep calm. If this really is a smart house, then it and I are gonna get on great. Hi, Mirage. I'm Washington. Would you be so kind as to let us back in? Hmm? It's all been a silly little misunderstanding. Our costumes aren't toxic, and we really need to get them back. We can at least say something. But are you gonna open up? You disconnected, I'm gonna jump! Is this some kind of joke? It's a good thing you told us to keep calm. Say, Wash, I've got a great idea to get back into the house. Good job, Eugenie. But I have a better idea. We'll go in via the roof. Give me a hand, Sam. We're gonna need some gear. Is it me? Or does he never listen to my ideas? Wanna hear it, Susie? Remember when you snuck into the house through the piping system? Mm-hmm. Perfect. Hey, say, where have the girls gone? Wash, are you sure this is the right time to go skiing? I know what I'm doing. Come on!
System meltdown. System meltdown. System meltdown. Situation critical. Remote control disabled. Contacting owner. Uh. I can't see Susie. We have to get inside that house. But where's Sam? Hello? Hello? Can you hear us, Susie? We've lost her. There's no network. Mm. We have no choice. We have to get inside that house now. On three we go. One, two... Wait, wait, wait. How about five instead? Good idea. You're right. On five, then. Five! 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 Okay, wait. Five! Hang on, Susie! There you go. Problem solved. Whew. Right. Let's get our costumes back. Costume. I'll take care of it. Mm. <laughs> went crazy. Where are our poor little darlings? My dear little angels, you must have been terrified. For sure. I'm going to uninstall this hopeless smart house system straight away. And you'll be getting double kibble all week. Looks like I made the right decision going with them, huh? I don't know what you're talking about. We came through just fine. Yeah? So what's that uh, then? Um. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Everybody, it's time for Singing, singing in the, in the shower. shower! The show that gets your morning rocking! And with no further ado, <laughs> let's welcome Josephine, who's going to sing her latest hit live from her bathroom! Woo-hoo, la 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 drain all your brain cells to let some of us sleep? When you don't know how to sing, you keep quiet, okay? First of all, we know how to sing! That's what you think. I happen to have perfect ears, and I can tell you that you guys sing like a bunch of elephants. Huh? What's so special about your ear? My ear is perfect. That means I know when you're singing on key or off, and you guys are off. Way, way, way off. And too loud, so... Hey, cut it out, Vic. They're allowed to have fun. Sure, in total silence. Keep it up, girls, and pretty soon it's you who will be on TV. <laughs> Uh, 
<laughs> Sorry? It means good morning in dolphin. Ah, your new learn while you sleep method. Is it really working? Like a charm, as you can see. Thank you, Washington. Good dog. <laughs> oh, honey, look at this. Why don't we sign Susie up? Yeah, 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 yeah. Girls, girls, stop! Susie, the Living Stones want to sign you up for a singing canary contest. <laughs> Are you nuts? Susie, if you sing, the Living Stones will find out that you're not a real canary, which means a one-way ticket back to the forest. Huh? Why wouldn't I be able to sing like a canary, huh? Uh, because you're a blackbird? Susie, <laughs> what would you say to a little musical rehearsal, huh? I'd like to find out if you're good enough to enter a contest. <laughs> I'm going to play you a little number on the flute, and then I want you to repeat it as faithfully as possible. Your turn, Susie. Mr. Livingstone is quickly understanding that Susie doesn't sing like a canary. So, in two minutes tops, we'll all be found out and sent packing into the forest. Any other questions? What singing? What a voice! Why, Susie, that's marvelous! And it's not like I'm surrounded by a bunch of winners, either. In Dolphin, breakfast is cold. <laughs> Honey, can I borrow your tablet? Susie turns out to be a diva of a singer. It would be a shame not to enter her in the contest. But of course, honey. I always knew Susie was talented. <laughs> mm. What do you think Vic meant when she said she wasn't surrounded by a bunch of winners? Nothing. That's just Vic. You know how she is. What's important is that Mr. Livingstone is persuaded now that Susie is a real canary, and we can hang out and tranquilly watch TV. Before our live broadcast of the world-famous canary singing contest, we've got an exclusive interview of the president of the jury who has kindly opened his home to us. How about a word of advice to all the canaries watching us who have entered tomorrow's contest? Well, practice like your life depended on it. And don't cheat. I can recognize the voice of a real canary a mile away. And every bird that's ever... We've got to find a way to stop your taking part in this contest, Susie. It's way too risky. But I want to enter the contest! Susie, Mr. Snobby Nose is not like Mr. Livingstone. He's an expert. He'll find out right from the first note that you're not a real canary. You don't understand. When I was little, everyone made fun of me. In fact, I'm gonna be your personal trainer. Sam, that's super nice of you, but I'm not sure that a wild boar cat is the best person to teach a blackbird how to sing like a canary. I've got a better idea. By listening to a canary while you're asleep, your subconscious will learn how to sing. And tomorrow for the contest, you'll be brilliant. Just like Mrs. Levingstone and her dolphins. Honey, you wouldn't have seen my headphones and tablet by any chance? And, uh, a canary? No! That's a lion! Huh? I can't believe it, Wash! Please don't tell me you forgot to put that canary video on repeat play! Yeah, uh, uh, no, I mean, I, I don't know. Why? Because there were other videos streaming after that! And so Susie has memorized every single animal sound except the one we're interested in! Way to go, Mr. Brain Surgeon. Oh, hey, no problem. All we have to do is put the canary video back on. Hmm? Oh, no. I don't believe it. Don't worry, Wash. Maybe we could just go to Mr. Snobby Nose. Oh, yeah, of course. So we can tell him to his face that Susie's not a real canary, give him our costumes, and then head back to the forest? Got any other brilliant ideas, Sam? Uh, no. I can't think of any other solution for listening to canary singing. 
I can recognize the voice of a real canary a mile away. Of course! Sam, you're Susie, a... where are you? Time to go! Lend me your costume, Susie. I've got an idea that will help us stall for time. Well, well, Susie. You seem to be in fine shape for the contest. In fact, it looks like you've put on some weight. I just hope you still fit into your cage. <laughs> go on, hop in. Oh, Susie, it's no time to play. It's time to Coast go! Coast is clear. Get back here! <laughs> Susie! Ouch! Come on, Alvarez, hurry up! Even though the contest won't start without us, that's no reason to show up late. <laughs> All right, Susie, you're on! A half a tone higher, Susie. There. Perfect. Come, come now. No reason to get stage fright like that, Susie. Everything's going to be just fine. Honey, I'm leaving. Good luck. Yay, where's Eugenie? Even with a canary costume, she couldn't have flown away, could she? Oh, no, Eugenie. And welcome to the International Canary Singing Contest. How about a big round of applause for Hubert, our first contestant? What? I'll cut off my left ear if that bird is a canary. He's a robin at best. And our first contestant has been disqualified after only two and 57 one hundredth of a second. Our jury president has wasted no time in letting us know that he will be inflexible when it comes to cheating. We're goners! Eugenie doesn't stand a chance! And now for our second contestant, Myrtle! What a joke! That song was pre-recorded! Incredible! Myrtle has just been disqualified! Will Susie, our third canary, have more luck than our first two contestants? I can't watch this. Susie, begin! The jury is getting impatient! Cool, isn't it? If she doesn't win the contest with that... I can tell you that's no canary. But what in the world is this bizarre specimen? Fly away, Eugene! Uh -huh. Quick! He's going to discover your disguise! Very impressive. This majestic winged creature appears to be a distant cousin of the Sumatra Tam Tam bird. Good heavens, honey! Why the long what happened? Susie's not a real canary. She's an exotic bird. A distant cousin of the Chickatoomy Tam Tam bird or something like that. And it's strictly forbidden to keep such exotic birds in captivity. Honey, do you realize that all this time we've been breaking the law? Shouldn't you call the vet just to be 100% sure about this? Susie, go sing into the phone to make the vet think that you're a real canary. Uh, uh, are you sure? It's our only chance. Susie's not a real canary. What in the world is this all about? Well, that's what Mr. Snobby knows, the jury president said, and... Mm -hmm. Well, I'll be. Susie just asked you if the coffee's ready in Dolphin. Can you believe that? Huh? I don't know what kind of nonsense is going on in your house, but allow me to say without the hint of a doubt that if that is indeed Susie singing, she is 100% canary. And now, if you will excuse me, I am very busy. Right, now where was I? Well, there you go, honey. Mr. Snobby Nose was mistaken. It's, uh, human, you know? Not bad, huh? I have to agree, they're pretty good. And it's all thanks to me. Well, you should have brought that canary instead. He would have won the contest. He's singing the Trombado Canary Fugue in C major to perfection. I swear it's the same canary. But I just don't understand. He started singing like my rabbit. Must have been stage fright or something. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. 
with my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Have a fortune at your feet? Yes, sirree, you've got one. Fortune! Huh? Fortune? Thanks to this incredible metal detector, if there's gold, silver, or precious jewelry buried in your garden, this detector will tell you about it in no time at all. Cutting edge technology, three day guarantee single cash payment with extra charge, this magnificent device will change your life. Change my life? Amazing! Everything I've dreamed of! I'll take it! <laughs> what is that incredible machine? Ugh, incredible or not, I don't like the look of it at all. Later, guys! <laughs> The battery for the remote control. It works! We've been looking for that battery for days. That machine is pure genius. Yeah, I don't know how it works, but it sure looks fun. What in the world is that? A 50 cent coin! This, my dear, is a treasure detector. You're going to be rich! Amazing. And don't tell me you bought that piece of junk from the traveling salesman I saw in the street. But it was a real bargain. I'll go straight out into the yard and prove to you that this is not a piece of junk. A treasure detector. Well, I knew how to detect one thing. The best places in the yard to nap in the afternoon. <laughs> On three we jump. One, two, three! Yeah! Yes, you come on. Hmm. Uh huh? No! Aha! Ah! Huh? It's like our yard is sitting on a treasure trove! Yeah! Hmm? Sam, get out of here! Hmm. Looks like there's no way I'm getting a peaceful afternoon nap today. This whole yard is crammed with treasure just waiting to be dug up! Oh, another treasure there! Yeah. <laughs> Honey! Uh -huh. I told you, our lawn is brimming with treasure! Quick, I need something to dig with! You're on your own here! Aha! Hmm. See how excited he's become since he's got that treasure hunting gizmo? Incredible! Nah, the true scientist is only too familiar with the thrill of discovery. Yeah, and by some weird coincidence, it detects treasure wherever I decide to take a nap. <laughs> Can you believe that? Wait, you mean to say the detector always beeps wherever you're standing? Mm-hmm. <gasps> that is no reason to be pleased with yourself. If that detector always beeps near you, it must be because of your zipper. My zipper? Yes, think about it. The remote battery, the dime, that detector detects metal! <gasps> and your zipper is metal! Like Eugenie's, like Susie's, and like mine! <gasps> and so obviously it sets the detector off. We're done for. Yeah, you reckon? I know we are. We have no place here. So, what are we gonna do, Wash? Mm. I know. While there's still time, no. we've got to watch TV. We have to stop him digging. Yeah. yeah, but what for? If he discovers there's no treasure beneath where you're sitting, he will realize it was you setting the thing up. No. Right. Here we go. 
Here's pretty good, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Huh? Gracie went back into the house and took her toy with her. What do we do now? I know. We'll make like Father Christmas. You mean we get some tiny weird guys with pointy hats to make the toy for us, and then we wait for the snow so they can deliver it to us? No! We head down the chimney! Ah! Great idea! <laughs> 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 yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Nothing here. Nothing there. Hmm. That's impossible. <laughs> uh oh! Quick, Sam! Follow me! <laughs> Zippers were made out of that weird stuff that makes that really loud sound when you pull on it. You mean Velcro? Okay, right, don't panic. There must be some solution. Let's think. You sure? I'm thinking. thinking, thinking, thinking. <laughs> Sam, what are you doing? Sam! Water! What's up with him? I only asked him to think. Ouch. Bad idea. Okay, I'm off. I'll leave you to think in peace, huh? You okay, Sam? Mm, Sam and Kibble. Huh? What kibble? You, oh, no. Why did you wake me up, Wash? I just found a huge bag of kibble hidden in the yard using the detector. <laughs> there isn't any kibble in the yard, Sam. It was just a dream. <gasps> Sam! You are a genius! What? We're going to get a kibble detector? No! We're going to hide real treasure in the yard. That way, when Mr. Livingstone finds out, he'll leave us completely alone. Real treasure? Like what? Something very, very precious. Something people have to hide so that nobody finds it. <gasps> I think I have an idea, Wash. Hmm? Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I need to change the batteries. Yeah. Hey, there you are, Sam. It's all right, he's gone. It's up to us now. Did you bring the treasure? Yeah, look at this. Acorns? What are we supposed to do with acorns? You wanted treasure, and you know this dash of acorns is a true treasure to me. It's taken me many months to collect it. Oh, Sam, we're not in the forest now. Humans don't care for them. They're just acorns, get it? We need real treasure, something shiny, some treasure so incredible, people would do anything to get their hands on it. We know where you can find treasure, real treasure. Duh? It's true, come on, we'll show you where it is. Shiny, like treasure. Ain't that right, Wash? Yeah, but what is it? I don't know, but the girls are right. That's the prettiest treasure I've ever seen. Right, no time to lose. We have to bury it before Mr. Livingstone gets back. <laughs> what are you doing? We're covering our tracks. But not now. First, we have to put the treasure in the hole and then fill the hole back in. Uh -oh. Uh, what? Uh oh. Ah. Huh? Ah! Aha! What's that bag you're hiding behind your back, Sam? Yeah. You haven't found my treasure, have you? Go on, show me, Sam. Oh, no! Sam? Sam, give that to me. You have stolen it from me. Hey! <laughs> Sam! Huh? Uh. Yeah. Uh. This way! 
away, Sam! Quick! <laughs> it's okay, Sam. Huh? Ah, yeah. There they are, my pretty little treasure thieves. Everything's going to be fine, Sam. Just hand over the bag. Ah, now there's a good boy. Uh, acorns and a cheese grater? Huh? And there's me thinking I found some real treasure. Darling! Ah, oh, there you are. What's the matter? You were right, honey. I have found nothing but a pile of junk. Oh, wow! This is my Grandma Adelaide's cheese grater! I thought it was lost forever! Thanks! This is the best treasure you could ever find! <laughs> there we go! Adelaide's cheese grater, have you? It was on the kitchen table. Hang on, I'm on my way. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Come on, bunch of scaredy cats. The coast is clear. Nothing to worry about. Something feels off, Wash. Come on, I didn't inflate the pool for nothing. Well, I'm going in. Well, if you want your costumes back, you're gonna have to get your paws wet. I think he's adapting a little too easily to domestic life. Ah! Come on, jump and swim, bunch of chickens. With this heat wave, even the guys from the animal pounder at the hmm. beach today. You were saying about the pound guys? Yeah, right. Well, we all make mistakes. And besides, for you, it's just a misunderstanding. They'll quickly find out you're a cat. Maybe we should have left the cats. Are you nuts? An alley cat that hangs out with animals like that? Why, well, he's probably wild too. And dangerous. <gasps> They were nothing but a bunch of wild animals! They're You, yes, but me, no. I can always get readopted. All I have to do is wait for the first hikers to show up while I quietly nap in a pretty, calm little spot in the sun. A pretty and calm little spot in the sun? <laughs> we're not going there on a picnic, Vic. Do you want me to tell you what life in the forest is really like? I am sick and tired of you hanging around the foxhole all day. <laughs> Go out and play with the pack your age. <sighs> so, it looks like you've been thrown out again, Wash. <laughs> Not at all. What do you mean? I just like being outside where the weather is fine. <laughs> yeah, right. But it's raining now. Oh, look, over there. A ray of sunshine. <clears throat> My secret cave, the only good thing I had going for me. The only place in the forest where I felt protected and could dream of a better life. Mm. If only they made meat-flavored berries, then I wouldn't have to hunt anymore and all the animals could live happily in peace. Hey, Wash. Got anything to eat? Cause I'm hungry! Oh, no, not that. Well, then I guess you better go get me something to eat. Now! <laughs> yeah, yeah, but what you're forgetting is that I'm a cat, and I can climb up a tree where nobody will be able to bother me. Are you hmm? crazy? Even way up high in the forest is super dangerous. <laughs> Then 
isn't too bad. Until a hiker comes along, I'll just adapt. As long as I keep my stomach full. <laughs> <laughs> Finding food is also going to be a hassle? <laughs> Nothing left to munch on. And your genie still hasn't come back yet. Good thing you're here to lift my spirits. Your beauty, your calm, your smile. It's me! Here, Sam! Some fresh bark! This should fill you up a bit! Then there's only one solution. I think the time has come, Sam. I can't! He's my friend! All the good times we had together. What? You ate your friend the acorn? Not even. At the last split second, an enormous boar grabbed it from under my nose. An alpha boar. There was nothing I could do. Yep. Survival of the fittest forever and ever. Yeah, well, I'm going to have the fittest eating out of my paw. With my charisma, I'll charm them all. That's the last thing you want to do. I tried it once and... Can I play with you guys? My brother went off to find something to eat and I'm bored all alone. Don't you have anyone your age to play with? No, I'm all alone. Come on, please. All right. <laughs> That's not how it happened. <sighs> you, you had me scared. For a moment I thought that. Yeah, well, okay, I admit I left out a bit. The truth is that right when I was almost about to escape. <laughs> That's better. I prefer the whole truth. Being precise is important, Eugenie. <laughs> hey, don't worry, Vic. It was all a big joke. Hey. Everything okay, Vic? Mm -hmm. We may have laid it on a bit heavy there. Why don't we tell her about something good that happened to us in the forest? Like what? Nothing good ever happened. Oh, I knew. How about the time we met? That's right. But uh, it was super hot that day. <sighs> In here! Thanks! If it hadn't been for you, we would have wound up stewed. Those humans are all crazy. Let's cut down the last one and we're off. Oh. Over here! Thanks! My name is Susie. I'm Eugenie, and he's my brother Sam. And he's... Washington, this is my secret cave, and you're all welcome here anytime. Other than Mitch, who occasionally stops by, no one will ever find us here. Uh, no one ever? You sure? Boy, I hope we don't find ourselves nose to nose with any wild animals. Uh, a metal monster! Do you see that bunny beaver asleep inside? Oh, he is too cute. Wow. That funny-looking animal lives peacefully with humans? I'll go ask him! Hey, little bunny beetle! Oh. <laughs> Susie! <laughs> Come on, Vic Honey. Nap time's over. <laughs> Metal monsters everywhere! Blockheads. Maybe those humans have taken the bunny beaver prisoner. We have to help him escape. Whoa, hang on there. Who are you? I'm neither a bunny nor a beaver, and even less a bunny beaver. My name is Victoria, and I'm a cat. In fact, I am a domesticated cat. What does domesticated mean? Are you guys from outer space or what? Domesticated means I live with humans. I'm a pet, and they are my humans. 
And this is a car, a machine to get you from one place to another. <laughs> yeah, and what's the that? <sighs> Relax. These are just moving pictures. It's called a movie. You love them. You coddle them. You want the absolute best for your faithful companions. Well, then give them K Goody Kibble. Whoa! Ah! <laughs> you won't see me falling for that stuff. You can tell the whole thing's been made up. And yet, that's my life to a T. And the life of all other household pets in the city. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I remember. What a marvelous film. It was the feature version of Sentimental Hospital. My favorite series. <laughs> <laughs> Please, please tell me you've got a plan for getting us out of here. Hush, please, please tell me you've got a plan for getting us out of here. Vic, we're going home. Wait a sec. Take us with you. We want the same life. <laughs> That's the best one yet. It's my life, and I don't share. <laughs> what do we do now, Wash? We're going to try our luck. really should repair this road. I think we've got a flat tire. <gasps> Wait! I know how we're gonna get out of here. The truck has to hit a big pothole on the road like the Living Stones did. Pothole at 10 o'clock! Oh, Rats is on the other side of the road! Well, then we'll throw the truck off course. At the count of three, everyone jump to my side. Seven, twelve, three. <laughs> I'm thirsty. Smoothie time! Smoothie, smoothie, smoothie! Ha! Susie, quick, grab the keys and open the back door! And we're off to our secret forest hideout. Where no hiker has ever stepped foot. Aren't you hungry? I could eat anything right now. A fox, a wild boar. And why not a cat while you're at it? I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. No reason to panic. Let's analyze the situation calmly. Susie has managed to escape. The two guys in the front seat are crooks, and we're headed for their hideaway. In the worst part of the forest where they might decide to grill us like hot dogs and eat us for dinner? No, can't see any reason to panic. How about in that bag there? Sure there's nothing to eat? <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't eat that if I were you. It smells so bad, you'd probably die of indigestion. Our costumes! They're here! We're saved! Yippee! Oh, yeah? <laughs> Yippee? And how, Mr. Einstein, do you plan on getting them? She's right, Sam. As long as we're locked up in here, we're still goners. <sighs> Farewell, my beloved city. I will never forget the first time I stepped onto your beautiful asphalt streets. Yeah. Back then, we didn't know anything, did we? Why, we even thought the Living Stones would adopt us without our costumes. You guys remember? Whoa! Now that's a foxhole from heaven. <laughs> Don't you think that Vic's fur has been lackluster recently? Hmm. I've noticed that too. I think she must be lonely. It's not easy being an only cat, you know. We should maybe think of adopting some other pet friends for her. Dinner time, Vic! And then we'll go outside and enjoy the sun! 
But what in the... <laughs> Selvig, feeling a little bit less lonely? A little less only child? Huh? Are you nuts? And who told you you could eat my kibble anyway? Kibble? You mean like in the commercial at the movies? So it was all true? Wash, mm -hmm. come check it out. There's tons more to eat. You're not out of here. Things are good. <laughs> uh, sorry, Victoria. Do you want to play with us? <laughs> good one, Sam. <laughs> there. And never set a paw in here again. Promise. Swear. Promise. He's right at home. That was the day we discovered paradise. Uh, it wasn't paradise right away. Yeah, more like a living nightmare, I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> you promised me you'd leave. So what? We're allowed to change our minds, aren't we? But, but your word is worthless then. You're nothing but a bunch of savages. Not really. Instead, you should look at this as a favor we're doing for you to help you fight off loneliness. And to help you get less into your fur. Uh, what are you talking about? What in the world ever happened to the Rose Chicken? My friends, the moment has come to put on our most winningest smiles. Huh? <gasps> ah! Wild animals! <laughs> hello, hello, <laughs> is this the animal pound? There are four of them with fangs and tons of hair and claws and just come quick, okay? This is certainly the first time in history we've ever scared human beings. <laughs> Hunters, run for your life! <laughs> <laughs> Wild animals! <laughs> it's just like back in the forest. We're being hunted. So what do we do? It's so weird. Animals are treated like kings in the city. That's proof that wild animals from the forest can also be adopted, no? <laughs> can you believe it? He didn't even know it was a costume! <laughs> yeah, well, I'll have you know it was thanks to me that we found out what it was. <laughs> hey, little cop! Psst. Don't be so discreet, go for it! Oh. It's not even real! It's fake fur! Check it out! Fake fur? Hey! That's exactly what we need! To pass ourselves off as city animals! Look! There's tons of them in that cave over there! Let's grab some! You see, Wash? You may have seen the fox cub first, but I was the one who found the costume! Yeah, well, finding a store is a cinch. Getting the costumes out of it is something else. No humans in sight. Everyone into the fake fur and tail cave. On the double! Oh! Wild animals! That cave is packed with humans. Look! Over there! Nah, too wild. Too weird. Awesome! <gasps> nah, we can do better. that all of the city animals have owners, like Victoria. With these costumes, we've got every chance in the world with the living stones. You can't 
be serious. Even disguised as household pets, the answer is no. Luckily, just after that, the Living Stones opened the door again and adopted us. And that was thanks to me, because I'm too cute. Not at all. It was thanks to my super adorable Puri. Knock off your nonsense. It was especially when they saw what a super brilliant dog I was. Only in your dreams, guys. If they adopted you, it was 100% thanks to me. Say what? I never told you this, but... Meow. Oh, my poor little Vic. Why, look, even her whiskers are falling out. Her loneliness is dragging her down. You know what I think? Nugget and Fluffy are all alone this summer. The neighbors are leaving and asked me if we could look after them. Oh, what a great idea. We have tons of room, and it'll do Vic a world of good. You, Vic, we're going to become the best friends in the whole world. As long as there are going to be parasites in this house, I'm going to do the choosing. Hey, what's going on? She's acting like she wants to go out, which certainly isn't like her at all. Oh, look! They are just adorable! Don't you think so, honey? Why do I get the feeling there will soon be seven of us in this house? <laughs> you seriously did that for us? Yeah, well, I especially did it for me. Nugget and Fluffy are such total twits. I'll explain to the neighbors that we can't keep their cats this summer. <laughs> oh, we get our place in line stolen by a bunch of animals who look like they just walked out of the forest. Not all of them. Check out the dog. He's like too cute. Oh. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Boy, am I ever stuffing. Hey, we hijacked an animal pound truck. Give me the key. Maybe there are some captured animals in the back. What would you say to some cat kebab? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Vic. After all you did for us, we would never let you down. Look at that. Dinner is served. <laughs> The police! Hey! Huh? Ah! Her costumes! It's not the police, it's the Living Stones! We were saved! Woohoo! But how did they find us? Oh, because of my collar! It's got a GPS tracking device so I can be found. All real household pets have one these days. Uh, yeah! But red alert, guys, because we don't have our costumes. And without our costumes, the Living Stones will never take us back. Yeah. What do you expect, guys? All good things come to an end. Hey, I'll send you a postcard. Hey! Psst. Susie! Susie! <laughs> An animal pound truck abandoned out here? Well, my GPS reading indicates that Victoria's inside it. Let's just hope they're all in there together. <laughs> <laughs> And to think that I was just seconds from being all alone with the Living Stones. My dream has been shattered. The TV! Your kibble! The sofa! <laughs> You're gonna have to squeeze in and find some room, darlings. Since we were so sad at having lost you, we agreed to keep Nugget and Fluffy for the entire summer. Oh. It's so <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the Living Stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Veronica, 
I have a confession to make. I love you. Jesus served. <laughs> get it, Sam, get it! that mouse. Do you think he's sick? <laughs> It'll be fine, darling. Everything's okay. Breathe deep. I cannot bear mice. I never could. When I was little, I was pursued by mice. You wouldn't think so, but they can be ferocious. Sam, what was that about? You're supposed to be a cat, and cats are supposed to chase mice. They love doing that. Chase mice? Are you crazy? They run way too fast. All cats chase mice, I'm telling you! If you don't, the Living Stones might start wondering about that and realize that you're not a real cat! Are you sure? Yes, and if they found that out, you know what would happen. We'd be forced to return to the forest, condemned to endless wandering in cold and darkness. <sighs> As for acting like a cat, Sam's far from winning the Academy Award. But for the worst melodramatic lead, you've got a good chance, Washington. Cool it, Vic. You couldn't understand. Nothing to panic about. I just have to revise our cohabitation contract with Biscuit. Biscuit? Biscuit, the mouse. He leaves the Living Stones alone, and in exchange, I give him a hefty piece of cheese every year, according to delivery. You do? Why don't you just pounce on him and chase him off and all that? Why should I? The Living Stones provide us with delicious kibble three times a day. Okay, should we do the usual? This year, Swiss cheese or Parmesan? Both. Both? Are you kidding? It's complicated enough finding one single piece of quality cheese. You want two? Hmm, I think you have a big problem on your paws in any case. What do you mean, big? A cat who prefers cheese to mice? Bizarre, no? Mm, not in the least. I myself am tempted at times by a bit of blue cheese or cheddar. That's right, at times. The only explanation I can come up with is that creature is not a real cat. <laughs> this guy here, not a cat? Ridiculous! Sam is definitely a cat. Oh, and quite some cat, too. Right, Sam? You're a cat, aren't you? Meow! Meow right now! <laughs> Meow? <laughs> like I said, perhaps someone ought to open the Living Stone's eyes to this problem. <laughs> What's that? Let's just say if I happen to be in the right place at the right time, I could show them that their darling little cat doesn't behave like a real cat at all. They might end up understanding. You wouldn't dare. I've already disposed of bigger dudes than this. How do you mean big? Let's not get all worked up about this. Surely we can find some common ground on the subject. Anyway, one piece of cheese, two pieces of cheese, <laughs> what difference does it make? Cats do not make deals with mice. The matter is closed. If you want me, you won't find me. We can't just wait around and do nothing. Biscuit has threatened to reveal our secret without warning. We have no choice. We must teach Sam to chase mice. Yay, why me? Because you're the cat! And we'll have the same problem every time a mouse sneaks into this house. <laughs> Susie, you be the mouse. Run and don't stop until Sam catches you. Here we go! <laughs> what are you doing? Since we're about to be evicted, I'm taking advantage of the TV one last time. A hunter among hunters. The leopard can remain hidden for a very long time. A very, very long time. Sam, you are a genius! Okay, running isn't your strength, but waiting around without doing anything at all, that is your specialty. And? And so we just have to use the leopard method. Wait in ambush for Biscuit. Maybe we should just give Biscuit what he wants. <laughs> like cheese? Exactly. 
And where do we find loads of cheese? Don't know! In the garbage! Listen carefully, Sam. There are three rules. Reactivity, reactivity, and most of all, whatever happens, reactivity. Mm, can you repeat the second one? <laughs> as soon as Biscuit appears, you grab him and toss him in the bag. Simplicity, efficiency, reactivity. I get it. Things are going to reactivity. Yeah. Grab Biscuit, put him in the bag, reactivity. Grab Biscuit. Reactivity. Hi, dude. How are things? <laughs> Not bad, thanks. Just kind of hungry. Otherwise, great. Hey, I was just about to make myself a sandwich in the kitchen. Want me to bring you one? That is so cool. Thank you. <laughs> gotcha. I had my doubts, but this is so obvious. You are not a cat. Yay! Yay! Not so fast, rat face. Hurry, Sam. You gotta catch him. Reactivity. Reactivity. What is the new thing already? Reactivity. Wash is on the sofa. <laughs> myself lucky with stale Swiss cheese for the rest of my years. They don't know who they're up against. Better now? Do you feel calmer? No, I do not. I will when those two so-called cats get rid of that disgusting rodent. <laughs> yeah? oh, no! Hurry, Sam! Now's the time to be more cat-like than all the cats in the world put together. <laughs> Can't be happening. Yeah? What is wrong with this cat? Can't even catch a mouse? Where's Victoria? Hey, it's just a matter of time before the Living Stones realize that you're not a real cat. Fancy a piece of cheese? <laughs> I'm begging you, Vic. Help us. Cats do not make deals with mice. If you don't help us, we're done for. You've got to teach Sam how to chase mice. Sam is at a breaking point, Vic. That mouse threatens to reveal his true identity at any moment. That guy can't sleep. Just look at him. He's a zombie. Well, the zombie sure has an appetite. <laughs> what Sam needs to catch Biscuit, I mean, apart from endurance, style, and technique, is a motive. What do you mean? What motive? If you can come up with a very good reason for him to go after that stupid mouse, he will. <laughs> a motive. Motivation. Get it? Aha! <laughs> I'm not so sure this is a good idea, darling. I'm not gonna sit around and do nothing until our cats decide to take action. Look what I found, Sam! Your favorite cookies! Uh, actually, I'm not sure I'm gonna give you one. I wonder if you really, really want one. Well, in that case, I could give you the whole packet. Oh, yes, oh, yes! But only if you manage to catch Biscuit. Then you can eat all of these cookies. <laughs> Boy, Sam! This 
think, Cat? I think I'm gonna leave you guys. See you later. What did she just say? Did you just call me Mr. Cat? Oh, yes, 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 yes. You are 200% cat, a formidable mouse hunter. And believe me, I've seen loads, loads. Thank you, Mr. Cat. I promise I'll never bother the living stones again. Ah! The, the mouse, so that's it? Is it really gone for good? Nice work, Mr. Cat. We did it. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. to go to Bee Bop Bunny for a free beauty kit. Pretty obvious, no? Sorry, we're super busy. We're onto something absolutely awesome here. Racing at top speed, the black slug can cover more than two centimeters an hour. We wanna go! We wanna go! We wanna go! Sure, promise. Tomorrow. No! <laughs> Today! Uh -huh. uh, mm -mm. Uh, what's that? Hmm. Da! It's a bunny mobile! A self driving car to go to the Bebop Bunny Baron! A state of the art self driving car? Uh, Wash, we're actually kind of busy, huh? And besides, must I remind you that cars are reserved for humans only? Come on, cool it, Sam. I just want to have a look. I wasn't going to drive it. <sighs> Relax. The living stones are gone for the day, and when we get back, the race will only be half over. Sorry, if I say yes, then I'll lose all credibility around here. So the answer's no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, all right. I can't see anything through this tinted glass. Welcome aboard the Bunny Mobile. Passengers, please get in. Wow! It's so beautiful! During your trip, enjoy all the comfort of the Bunny Mobile. Automatic pilot with GPS, speed regulator, soft drink dispenser, and free call at 011 7253 in case of emergency. Destination, Bebop Bunny. Bunny! Yay! 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 Bush, stop the car! No! We're gonna get caught! Oh, come on, Sam. Don't worry. The windows are tinted, so there's no risk. Uh -oh. Are you sure we're okay? I get this feeling we've been spotted. <laughs> Yeah. Hmm. Emergency on the corner of Lafayette and Washington. 
There's an alligator in the tree! You see? I told you we had nothing to fear. In order to access your relaxation options, punch in the bunny button. Option one, massage. Option two, music. Option three, carrot juice. Oh, Wash, this is too awesome! Do you think they also make kitty mobiles? When are we gonna get there? We're not even moving! But we are moving. It's just that the technology in these cars is so sophisticated that you don't even notice you're driving when in fact you're actually speeding down the road. Mm. Oh, because like right now we're speeding, huh? Are, are we, we there, there yet? yet? Hurry up! This is taking so long! All right already, girls, I'll speed up. All you had to do was ask. Newsflash, the Bunny Store Fair is a whopping success and their beauty kits are going like hotcakes. Hurry up if you want to get your hands on one. They won't last long. Oh, no! My beauty kit! Wash, hurry up! Please, please, please! Please, 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 please! Okay, okay, everything's under control. Don't panic. Situation's under control. Turn this thing off! An alligator in a tree? What'll they come up with next? Uh-oh, the animal pound! Yeah, well, with the tinted glass windows, we're cool. Oh, yeah? And you think that works when they're open, too? Acceleration activated. Let's go. Forget the alligator. Uh, kid, this is your chance. We're counting on you. Ah, uh, they're not following us anymore. Well, of course not. They're the animal pound, not the police. You have reached your final destination. We'll wait for you in the car, girls. Don't take too long, okay? <laughs> what did I say, huh? It was all just child's play. Yeah. <laughs> found! Start! Error. You have reached your final destination. Activate bunny control to enter a new destination. Oh, Automatic remote God. control deactivated. Manual drive is activated. <laughs> The Super Duper Tunnel Slide has just opened! Come and get your fill of bunny thrills! Shall we go? It looks awesome! Do you think we've got time? Sam said we should hurry up. Yeah, all right. He's probably getting a massage in the bunny mobile right now. I bet he's in seventh heaven. Oh, Wash! Speed up! They're right behind us! <laughs> We're safe! Yeah, mm. oh, Wash, you can slow down. They're gone! I'd like to, except I get the feeling that the accelerator's like, uh, stuck! <laughs> uh, Sam, don't touch anything. This is no time to slow down. Number. I think now's the time! Oh, yeah, good idea! But, uh, what was the number again? Yeah, after 999881999, is it a one or a nine? Do you think Sam and Wash are going to jail? Oh, but the close oh. call. I really like his daredevil style. He's totally oh. healers. Reminds me of the blind bird Joe. That's my buddy Washington driving the bunny mobile. Think you could help him ditch the guys following them? An awesome driver like him? Well, that would be an honor. Flight formation! <laughs> Open fire!
Bunny Help Center. How can I be of assistance to you? Hey, it works! Uh, can you tell me why we're calling them again? Drop it! Everything's cool. I ditched them. Oh! Oh no! I just realized! How are we going to get to the girls? Battery dead. Please recharge battery. I repeat, please mm -hmm. recharge. Did you just touch something? Charge. Battery. Do you know where we are, Sam? No idea. Even when I was little, I couldn't find my way home from one mud puddle to the next. So just imagine here. Are you serious? <laughs> you don't even know where you are. Our house is right over there. You two teeny. Susie. Of course we knew where we were. We were just waiting for you. So, shall we go home? Yeah. We're filthy. If the Livingstones see us like this, they're going to want to give us a bath, and then they'll see our costumes and... We knew we should have stayed in front of the TV. Drat, you're right. Hey! How did you do it? What? Get clean? Check it out! Big Bop Bunny All-Purpose Cleaner! <laughs> wow! That works! Awesome! Thank you, girls! <laughs> you see, Sam, I told you we'd be back in time for the end of the race. Yeah, but now that we missed everything in the middle, I can't figure out what's going on. Uh, your snail race totally stinks. Bebop Bunny's way better. Hey, darlings, we've got a surprise for you. We're taking you to the Bebop Bunny Fair. Yay! <laughs> you agree? <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. for breakfast. Now that's paradise. I don't get it. Where are all the trees that grow these delicious nuts? Say, you're right. I bet that Sam could find them in a blink. Do you think it was a good idea to leave them alone? I mean, a whole weekend's pretty long, isn't it? Don't worry, honey. Everything will be okay. As we speak, why, I bet they're fast asleep having sweet dreams. <laughs> Yeah? <laughs> I'm the Living Stone's new cat! <laughs> Listen to the voice of your conscience. The day you will have vanquished your fear is the day that Mitch shall no longer be a danger for you. It is only when you have surpassed your fear that you shall become a real cat. Because real cats are afraid of only one thing, water. But, but will, will you know, know how to find this jewel of feline courage deep inside you, little wild, wild boar? boar. <laughs> <laughs> same nightmare, Sam? Every time we have to go see Mitch, it's the same story. Oh, is today the day? What was it he demanded from us this time to leave us alone? Not the TV! Oh no! My best, best, good, good, my almost best friend! But that's way too dangerous! The Living Stones will surely find out! The last few times it was already risky enough! Christ, did I forget the chicken? Hmm. Say, honey, didn't there used to be a kitchen table? <sighs> Nothing better than a good bed for a good nap! Yeah. That's weird. I don't remember sleeping on the floor. If the TV disappears, then they'll surely know it was us and we'll be kicked out. We're simply not going to give them the TV. I have an infallible plan. I always <gasps> knew you were the best, Wash. So, what is it? Ta-da! <laughs> we, too, can blackmail Mitch. Mm -hmm. We're going to tell him that if he keeps demanding things from us, we're going to embarrass him to death uh... by showing this totally ridiculous photo to everyone. Not bad, huh? It stinks. Mm -hmm. It'll never work. Mm -hmm. 
Just wait and see how awesome my plan is. Go for it, Wash. I'm totally with you. My thoughts are anyway. I'll stay here and watch over the TV. Can we come with you? You're way too young. And that's why you haven't understood anything about my plan. <laughs> <laughs> It's actually quite good. But you don't understand anything because you're too young. Boy, am I ever sick of hearing that. We're going to show them how we're not too young at all. <laughs> we're going to go play in the yard. See you later. <sighs> it's not a couple of silly little pine trees that are going to scare me. I used to live here in this forest. And in fact, I was kind of the king of the forest. <laughs> <laughs> Was close. Hi there, Washington. <laughs> Everything cool? Your friend went off to the forest alone, and you, you're stuffing your face in front of the TV. That's because I'm stressed out. Moments like this, the only right thing works to calm me down. They have to eat. So, where's my TV? It is, and will remain, at the Living Stones. Your days of blackmail are over, Mitch. Ha-ha! What ha-ha? Well, if you continue threatening to replace us at the Living Stones, I'll circulate this photo amongst all the animals in the forest. And for you, it'll be Shame City. Why, you won't be able to leave your cave without being the laughing stock of the whole forest. So, what do you say? No, Wash, please! I beg you, don't do that! <laughs> The girls were right. This video is dumb. And besides, it reminds me of the forest. Boy, I hope Wash makes it out okay. Oh boy, oh boy, I'm starting to stress out again. Absolutely gotta get something to eat. No, no, I'm stressing. I'm really stressing out. I'm stress... No, Sam, Wash is getting us rid of Mitch. With what he's doing for us, there's no way you can eat his kibble. Then again, isn't it Wash who always says that those who are absent always lose in the end? Rats, I'm still totally stressed out. I must not have eaten enough. But if I was blackmailing you, it was just so I could see my friends. Meaning? Well, you guys, my friends, if I hadn't done that, would you have ever come to visit me? Uh, no. Mitch, don't cry, because now that I'm here, we could, uh... Why don't we play Clever Fox, like we used to, remember? You would hide and I would look for you. You were the best in the whole forest that they came. That's true, I was pretty good. In fact, you never found me. Do you think you could this time? Don't worry about that. I'll count while you take off your costume and go hide. <gasps> what? Take off my costume? Well, yeah. Yes, you're not gonna play Clever Fox disguised as a dog. Hmm? You don't trust me, is that it? Go on then, leave! There's no point in playing if it's gonna be like that. No, I mean, of course I do. I'll do it, Mitch. Go on, start counting. Same game, same rules. No caves and no foxholes. One, two... Wash has been taking for a ride. Can't you see that Mitch is putting on a nap? Six, seven, eight... Now, nine, what was it I did in the past to win Clever Fox every time? Ah, but of course, that's right. I always cheated. Oh, don't tell me he's going to fall for it. <laughs> Mitchell never find me here. So, who's the cleverest? Girl, clever fox. Cheating as usual, are we? I warned you, Wash, that if you didn't bring me the TV, I would take your place at the Living Stones. <laughs> Hey, where is it? I know he had a costume in here. Yeah, good move. Mitch will get his paws on Wash's costume, and it's thanks to us. Uh -huh. Is that right? See you later, loser. <gasps> Sam, Wash and the girls still haven't come home. What? 
What? Oh no, don't tell me that. I'm gonna start to stress. <laughs> All is lost. Mitch is going to take over my place at the Living Stones, and I'm going to spend all eternity here in this dark cave, alone and abandoned by all. Thinking of your super girlfriend who would have loved to help you, but who you treated like dirt? Susie? Eugenie? You wouldn't by any chance have an idea for getting me out of here. Oh, no. We're too young, remember? We can't have ideas. Of course you can! And besides, that's not what I meant. It was just a figure of speech. <laughs> you know, kind of like when you say, uh... Um... Like when you say what? Uh, okay, okay. I'm sorry, girls. <laughs> Thanks, girls. So, shall we get my costume? Don't worry about it. I hid it so that Mitch will never find it. Must I remind you girls that I'm a fox after all? Clever is my middle name. Mitch's middle name, because he found your costume and he's already gone to the Living Stones with it. What? If the Living Stones think that Mitch is their dog, all is lost and I shall spend the rest of eternity in the forest, alone, in the rain, the wind, the... Oh, all right, let's go. Sam, go get me something to eat while I hug my little Vicky and watch <laughs> my TV! No, oh, no, I was so stressed out that I ate everything! <laughs> Here you are! Ah! You better find me something else while I finish this and make it snappy! Sam! Find him something to eat immediately! But there's nothing left! Somebody ate everything in the house! And in your costume? I know for a fact you always hide a chicken in your costume in case you get hungry. Yeah? No, no way, I swear! Uh, um, I'll go look in the oven! You didn't find anything! What? <laughs> Well, if that's how it is, I'm going to eat your friend's costume and take yours. And then I'll be the Living Stone's new cat! It's only when you have surpassed your fear that you shall become a real cat. The, the day you will have vanquished your fear, your fear the is the day, day that Mitch, Mitch shall no longer, longer be a danger, danger to you. you. Again, it'll be me who comes to see you in the forest. Fearless Sam! Sam the cat! I'm sorry, so sorry, honestly. I'll never bother you again. How did you do that? Whoa! You were like a like a lion in there. You know, I'm a cat, and cats are afraid of only one thing, and that's that's the forest. No, water, Sam! Cats are only afraid of water. But thanks anyway. Oh, honey, I just dreamt that Sam was actually a bear disguised as a cat. Oysters always bring on strange nightmares when you eat them for breakfast. <laughs> You're right. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the Living Stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Your new companion. You must be very nice to her, understand? <sighs> I'm counting on each of you, all right? Honey, don't you think you're going a bit overboard? I'd like to remind you that this is my boss's pet, Sal. It's not my fault he asked me to look after her during the ham and bacon fair. Hello, my name is Brigitte. 
Victoria. Ooh, I just love your style. Me too. I just love my style. <laughs> I also love your sense of humor. Hey there, I'm Wash. I'm Sam. Pleased to meet you. You are as pretty as a garbage truck. Huh? Say what? Ignore him, Brigitte. He's the most boorish cat I've ever met. Come on, I'll show you around the house. It's no palace, but it's comfy. Oh, by the way, just call me Vic. That's what my friends call me. Well, what? Did I say something wrong? Sam, a garbage truck is not a compliment. If you want her to like you, make her laugh. Girls love that. Really? Cool. Funny humor is my strong point. Thanks, Wash. And this is the bathroom. Mm. <laughs> that was a good one, huh? I don't think we have the same sense of humor. Are you okay, Brigitte? Yeah. Uh, let's go. What a dork. Sam, I told you to make her laugh, not to ridicule her. Well, what? When we see that joke on TV, everybody laughs. Mm -hmm. But not to impress a girl. Try offering her flowers. In Sentimental Hospital, Dr. Alessandro is always giving flowers to Veronica. <laughs> Because you think you know better than Dr. Alessandro? Veronica, I love you. Dr. Alessandro, I am not Veronica. I'm Angelica. <laughs> hey, here, Brigitte. This is for you. A present. Thank you, Sam. But uh, <laughs> that too. Will you just get lost along with your flowers? Can't you see they make her sick? Go away, Sam. Why does it work with Dr. Alessandro and not with me? Yum, they're so delicious. <sighs> Boy, can he ever be a clumsy oaf. No, stop it, you're too hard on him. There's no way he could know I was allergic to flowers. Huh? It was really super sweet of him. I mean, how cute was that? Yeah. What? You don't mean you like him. Well, it is the first time a cat has ever offered me flowers. Don't tell me you'd go out with him. <laughs> no way, are you crazy? We're from two totally <gasps> different worlds. You don't mix cats and pigs. On the other hand, if he were a pig or a wild boar, who knows? <laughs> Gosh, she likes me, she likes me. <laughs> Sam, what are you doing? Can't you see? I'm taking off my costume so that Bridget will know that I'm a wild boar. What? Are you crazy? Do you want the living stones to send us back to the forest? Mind you that we left the forest because we couldn't take any more of it, and that's also why we wear costumes. In the forest, you can say farewell to kibble, the sofa, and the TV. Maybe we could take the TV with us, and you could always watch your films on the Livingstones tablet. No. Listen up, Sam. Here's what I suggest. I take the Livingstones out for a walk, during which time you take off your costume and tell her everything. But be careful. Not outside, huh? In the house. That way, we forget about the forest, you stay here, and everybody's happy. Okay, can we do that? Wash, you're the best! Okay, they're gone! Go! Why are you doing this? It's not Christmas. No, but it is super romantic. Just wait and see. Brigitte's gonna love it. Brigitte, you gotta come. Sam has a surprise for you. Ha ha. Another one of his great unfunny jokes, I bet. Forget it, Brigitte. No, why should I? Coming, Eugenie. If you get a bucket full of tomato sauce on the snout, whatever you do, don't come complaining to me. Ta-da! It's me, Sam. Uh -huh. 100% wild boar. 99% pure pork. Sam, is that you? It really is you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how marvelous, Sam. And love makes me now be seated. Pull out the chair for her. What? You're not gonna pull it out from 
buttery, are you? <laughs> no, of course not. 21 peace dots and half an hour wash? This is kind of worrisome. Hmm? Uh, my boss. Hello, sir. So, how's the ham and bacon fair going? What? N -n -n now? Uh, yes, I'm with her. Everything's fine. <laughs> You wish to speak with her? <laughs> uh, but, 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 of course. <laughs> uh, say hi to Daddy, Brigitte. Oink, oink. Uh, what? Horse? No, she's doing perfectly well. Uh, I'm going into a tunnel. Uh, sorry, I can't hear you anymore. He's arriving at our house in three minutes. Quick, we've got to go home. Hurry up, Wash. Oh, oh. Angelica. I will love you for the rest of my life, and even after. Oh, Dr. Alessandro! <laughs> ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> A wild boar! Go on, feed it! Scram, you wild beast, you! Get your paws off, Brigitte! <laughs> Brigitte! Come back here! Brigitte will come home. She's a show pig after all. Ah, <laughs> sir, what a pleasure to see you. In fact, Brigitte was just... I'm uh... taking a bath. In fact, I'm going to go back right now. We wanted her to be perfectly clean for you. Speed it up now. I'm in a hurry, Livingstone. Everything went well? <laughs> of course. Oh, I've never shown you my stamp collection, have I, boss? Just wait and see. It's quite unique. We've got to get Sam his costume right away. Otherwise, he won't be able to come home. But, but, this is horrible! We're certainly not going to live here! Well, why not? Don't be scared! Having lived here myself, I can assure you that if you're extremely careful, the forest can be very charming! So this is your pretty little love nest? Well, in the forest, nests are usually for birds. We... Now I want to go home. Otherwise, I'm going to scream. Go home? But we can't. I don't even have my costume. Ah! Sam, Brigitte, great idea screaming. It would have taken us hours to find you otherwise. Here, isn't this what you are looking yeah? for? Yeah, thank you, Eugenie. Can we go home now? You betcha. And the sooner the better, because otherwise... Thing. Can I have a word with you, Sam? Mm -hmm. Ah, sweetheart's little secrets. Okay, so listen, you and me, it's not going to work. So I suggest we take a break. A long break. Uh, in fact, a very, very, very long break. <laughs> awesome! I didn't dare ask you myself. Eh? Oh, what a nice little bath, huh, Brigitte? Let's scrub behind the ears. <laughs> there! Voila! I've been waiting for five hours now. That's enough. I want to see my Brigitte. It would be so much easier for you the front door. Why do we absolutely have to go through the bathroom? Because I have to wash. I can't possibly show myself to my owner if I'm covered in mud, you bunch of wild ones. I want to see my Brigitte. Brigitte. Livingstone, for a minute there, I thought you were hiding something from me. Oh, sir, that's not my style at all. Good riddance. I thought you two were friends. Not really. I always had problems with the animals she hung out with. You gonna be okay, Sam? You don't miss her too much? Miss who? <laughs> Good old Sam. A wild boar dressed up as a cat with the memory of a goldfish. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. 
with my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. I won at the Cat vs. Cat Contest, a tournament that takes place the first day of spring every year. Hey, what a coincidence! Today is the first day of spring! I get it. You're practicing with your ball for the tournament! <laughs> no way! Never! Do you hear me? I will never participate in that contest ever again. And I never want to hear another word about it again either. Because you lost. Lost? And that! That's what? A loser's trophy, I suppose? I won it in a grueling fight to the bitter end. Whoa! Hey, can we play with your ball? Not even in your dreams. You put one paw on it, or even so much as look at it, and I'll make sure you get a one-way ticket to the darkest corner of the darkest forest in the world! Four, five, six, and bingo! <laughs> I'm touching it. I'm looking at it. <laughs> can I touch it and look at it too? <laughs> you can look at it, but pause off. I promise. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We didn't do anything, Vic. We're totally innocent. <laughs> you should have seen the expression on your faces. Whoa, sis. What a great imitation. Whoa. It's like so pretty. Oh, there you are. <laughs> 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 ever finds out that her trophy has disappeared, her vengeance will know no limits. She'll tell the Living Stones that we're wild animals for sure. Oh. <laughs> Meow. Louder. Meow. Uh, are you feeling okay there, Nugget? Uh, no time for small talk. You've got to rehearse if you want to be in top shape for cat versus cat. Oh, right! The tournament! Are you entering too, Washington? Nugget, must I remind you that Washington is not a cat? A cat? Say there, Fluffy, you know everything about everything. Where is the contest taking place? In no? that nearby alley? Hey, that's enough. Back to rehearsing, Nugget. I know exactly how we're gonna get Victoria's ball back. We'll sign Sam up for the cat versus cat contest. What? Of course, with the strength of a wild boar, Sam will clobber all those whippy cats. He wins the tournament, we get the golden ball, replace Victoria's, and nobody's any the wiser. For sure, Sam's the strongest. Yeah, but Sam doesn't know how to fight. It doesn't matter. Just wait and see. Look at you! You look super impressive! Okay, let's test you out. Awesome! Didn't feel a thing! <laughs> What's all the ruckus? What are you supposed to be with that new costume? A pet hippo? <laughs> no, it's nothing. We're just playing. Uh, uh, Sam the trampoline! <laughs> Wanna play? I don't think so. <laughs> Losers. Phew! All you have to do, Sam, is stay in the ring, not move, and wait until your opponent tires out. Let's go to the tournament! I say, who's the strongest? The awesomest, the terribleest of all cats in the world? Hey, listen to me, no, Sam! Who is gonna turn his opponents into mushy cat food? Give me a listen to me, no, Sam! 
<laughs> no one even dares step into the ring. You're the winner! Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> He's such a wimp, he won't even make it past the first round. Just do like I told you to. Take the blows and don't budge, okay? Yeah, well, I couldn't budge even if I wanted to. Make room for the ref. I'd like to remind you of the rules for the cat versus cat contest. You each take turns fighting, and it is strictly forbidden to touch your opponent. Yeah! Quiet! The first one who makes a noise is out of here. And don't forget, I know each and all of your little secrets. All right, then. Like last year, the winner is the one who makes the most intimidating meow. Oh, no! It's a meowing duel, not a boxing match? We're goners! Sam can't meow to save his life. And the first meow goes to... Scrawny! 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 Looks like Scrawny is suffering from a handicap that all you cats know only too well. A major hairball crisis. Maddox! And the winner of the first round by default is Sam! Yeah! We won! The golden ball is all ours! Yeah! That was only the first round. Besides, we were lucky. Sam cannot meow! <laughs> Why do you like me? Meow. <laughs> okay, we're gonna concentrate on your meowing. Repeat after me. Meow. <laughs> oh, sorry. I mean, seriously, it's not that difficult to do. <laughs> Whoa, now that's what we need. Did you hear that, Sam? Susie could take Sam's place in the tournament. <gasps> Why, of course! Susie, do you read me? Ready? Testing, testing. One, two, one, two. I'm ready. <laughs> With a meow like that, we're going to win that golden ball hands down. I mean, really, Nugget, is this a good time for you to be eating? The tournament isn't over yet. I need a protein booster if I'm going to win the cat versus cat final. Okay, true, I'm battling that loser Sam in the final, but I'm going to walk all over him. Huh? Sam? In the cat versus cat tournament? What in the world is going on here? Trying to say something? <laughs> it's not working! Hey, Susie, what's going on in there? It's not my fault! Sam closes his mouth every time I meow! You want Susie to meow, paw on chest, okay? <laughs> Get it over with and give up, why don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Team that I coached with my brilliant strategy. Yeah! For the final, I only got one thing to say. Sam, just keep doing what you've been doing. Don't change anything. Susie, really let go! Be generous with your voice. Go for the biggest meow ever! Huh? The for the last round of Cat vs. Cat are uh -huh. into the ring. We're gonna win for sure! <laughs> Everything's going to go great. There's no way you can lose against that fat potato brain, Sam. And Sam opens the battle. Sam! 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 I get it. You want me to
me to start, is that it? So that you'll get the last meow? Sure, why not? Time out! Time out! 30 seconds time out! We got a major problem. Susie has lost her voice. She can't meow. But what are we gonna do, Wash? Victoria is never gonna forgive us! Where's my golden ball? Hey, Victoria. Can't you see that we're in the middle of the final that I'm about to win? <laughs> uh, let me explain. You see, this is all just a big misunderstanding. Incredible! For the second consecutive year, Victoria has won the Cat vs. Cat Contest! <laughs> big, big Victoria! Big, big Victoria! Big, big Victoria! That was one close call, guys. <laughs> really, it's uh, not at all what you think, believe me. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Thanks, Washington. Well done. Good dog. Here you go, a little reward. Bring me up my newspaper, will you? You'll find me in my bedroom. You dogs are so pathetic. All those disgusting chores to chew on some old shoe. No way, it's delicious. And what's more, it's great for the teeth. <gasps> Good little doggy, who does everything daddy tells him to. Got a problem, Vic? You're not jealous by any chance. Are you joking? See us cats wash? We don't have to go bootlicking humans for love and appreciation. All we have to do is be ourselves. Beautiful, agile, gracious, everything a dog is not. <laughs> Baloney! Dogs are a match for cats in every department. Yeah? So if that's true, can you, for example, explain to me why dogs can't climb trees, whereas cats can? Oh, yes, we can. It's just we have better things to do. I'll go climbing trees whenever you want, Bic. Yeah? Really? The first to grab the ribbon is the winner. But warning, if you fall, then... Elimination. Basically, if Wash falls, he loses. Looks like I've got time for a little cat nap. <sighs> Poor little Washington. Need a helping tail? Go on, grab hold. You're breaking my little heart. Hang on tight. Washington! 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 <laughs> Looks like you've lost, Vic. Speaking as a cat, I will say that I am very disappointed with your performance, Victoria. But speaking as Wash's best friend, I am pleased with the result. Way to go, Wash. You won, boy. So, Vic, ready to pay the price for defeat? Don't even think of it. Oh, look at Daddy's cute little doggy. <laughs> ha, ha. Okay, had enough? Are you through? Are you happy now? Can I take this off? 
<laughs> you pretty pie. Yes. <laughs> hey, Wash, not coming to say hi? What's he doing lying on Victoria's armchair? Come on, Wash, get up. Come say hi. Washington? Washington? Uh, what? How weird. See that, honey? Wash doesn't look like himself today. It looks like his head has gone flat. No, he's lost weight. Look, his skin is hanging off his bones. Okay, honey pie, double ration of kibble for you today. <laughs> Dog kibble. It's disgusting. Washington, you gotta eat. Go on. <laughs> Go on, little doggy, eat him up. <laughs> Yet. Wash got himself a double ration of kibble and we didn't. It isn't funny. And it isn't Wash. It's Vic wearing Wash's costume. Yeah? Okay, time for some exercise, Washington. That'll soon perk you up. It's weird. It's like Wash's costume has grown too big for him. It's because it isn't Wash, Sam. It's Vic wearing Wash's costume. Yeah? Oh, yeah! Vic wearing Wash's costume. Vic wearing Wash's costume. Vic wearing Wash's costume. Uh, hang on. Wash wearing... No. Who's it again? Go on, Washington. Catch! <laughs> Your reflexes are rusty, Washington. You're beginning to worry me. Luckily, I have a nice, juicy, vitamin-enriched bone for you. You should see her, Wash. Vic is hopeless at playing the dog. Uh, what? It has to stop right this minute. I've spent two years training to create the perfect dog act, and Victoria's ruining it all in one afternoon. If she carries on like that, the living stones are gonna kick me out. Uh, you or Vic? Uh, me. I mean, Vic and then me. If they throw Vic out wearing my dog costume, even if I do get it back, the Living Stones will never let me in the house again, Sam. <laughs> Vic, give me my costume back. Like I wanted to keep it. You could have watched out. You nearly ruined all my efforts at passing as the perfect pooch. Let it be a lesson to you. I didn't ask to wear your crummy costume. Hey, and another thing. Are you ready to fess up that cats are better than dogs? <laughs> Not on your life, Vic. Okay, if that's the way it is, I'm keeping it. And don't expect me to play the perfect pooch. I am hopeless at dog stuff. The worst around. Wash, <laughs> Washington! My slippers! <laughs> Washington! My slippers! Wash, what has that meant to you? Washington, please! Sam, go tell Vic right this minute that I admit cats are better than dogs. And make her give me my costume back, please. Wash, you bad dog. Don't ever do that again. Otherwise, you're in for trouble. No, give me that, Washington. You've been a bad dog. You don't have a right to your... Ru Washington, calm down! Stay there and don't move. It's punishment time for you, you naughty dog. Come on, girls. We're going to leave Washington on his own. He has to calm down. He's being punished. I mean, Vic, Wash told me to tell you that, uh, that cats, uh, no, the dogs are better than cats. What? Dogs are better than cats? If it's war Wash wants, he's going to get it. Ah, peace and tranquility. It looks like Washington has finally calmed down. <laughs> oh! Have you gone crazy? Who did that? Own up right this minute, or... What about my costume? Is she gonna give it back? Yeah, I don't know. They cut it off into the yard, and Mr. Livingstone said you're punished and you have to stay on your own in the kitchen. You gotta stop bugging Vic. She's really mad. There's gonna be trouble. Huh? What? What kind of trouble? Ah! Washington, please calm down! Ah! What did you say to Victoria to wind her up like that? Exactly what you told me to say. The dogs are better than cats. Huh? Uh, no, that wasn't it. <laughs> 
You naughty, naughty dog, Washington. Go to bed this instant. I shall decide what punishment you deserve. What's going on, honey? I don't know what's got into Washington. He's behaving dreadfully. Uh-oh. We better get your costume back and back. I have an idea. Try to tell the Living Stones that Victoria has disappeared. That way, she'll be forced to show herself without my costume and we'll be able to... Yeah. Oh, Victoria, you are so sweet. Not like bad, bad Washington. Imagine if Wash attacked Vic or one of our other lovable sweetie pies. He's already attacked a postman. What if the next time he bites? I hate to say this, but for the safety of all of us, we must call the Animal Pound, honey. It's our duty. No, this is the end. Wait. If Washington is sick, maybe that's why he's behaving like this. You're right, honey. I'll call the vet this instant. You have called Vladimir Venovic's veterinary clinic. I'm obviously really busy right now. So don't call back until you've forgotten your problem. Let's go for a little walk to clear our minds, honey. We'll give him a call when we get back. Vic, where did you put my costume? So tell me. Our cats. Yes, cats are better than dogs. But for Pete's sake, give me back my costume. If I don't get to play the perfect pooch when I get home, I'm done for. Seeing as you're such a good little doggy, you should be able to find your costume all on your lonesome. With your legendary sense of smell. No, 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 no! Why don't you use your nose like Vic said? Because I'm not a real dog, Eugenie. Just smell them. <laughs> they stink of cheesy feet. You can't smell anything else? Sure. In the background, there's something that smells good, a kind of perfume. That's Vic's aroma. She left her scent on the slippers when she ripped them apart. All you have to do is track down her odor. Visit everywhere she went, and eventually you're sure to find wherever she hid your costume. How do you know all that? You've never been a dog before. No, but in the forest, guys always kept stealing my acorns. So I had to learn to use my snout to find them. I found it. Vic hit my costume in the kibble. I can smell it. Where is it? Don't panic. It happens. It's what you call a false leap. Keep looking. There must be another trail. Going around in circles, are we? You cheat! As mock dogs go, I confess. I'm impressed with you. How about we make peace? How about we say a fox in dog disguise is equal to a cat? Like that idea? Look, honey. It looks like Wash is feeling better. Maybe we don't need to call the vet after all. Of course. It must be those vitamin-enriched bones that made him crazy like that. He must be allergic to them. I'll throw them away. It's silly, I know, but I think I finally developed a taste for them. <sighs> what? Only fools never change their minds, no? Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the Living Stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. It's coming up! <laughs> got it, got it, got it. Breathe in deeply and listen to your inner voice. Mm, my inner voice. Ah, hey! Oops, missed it. Sorry, Victoria. Spring kibble scent. Hmm. I say this is the good life, wouldn't you? You bet it's the good life. Oh, yeah. We're living the good life. We're living the good life. So who? So who? So who's gonna have a feast? A little sweetie song! A little feast! Oh. Hey! What's going on? Oh! Poor little guy! He looks abandoned! Um. <laughs> Aww. We're living together! We're living together! Car! Uh oh! Disguises! Hey, did these shrink or what? We're home, little darlings. And now we have a new addition to our family. Uh -huh. We found him on the street, abandoned. 
Here is Poppy, your new little friend. Oh, what a cute little thing. Wow, a little brother. <laughs> That's cool. Take good care of him. Poor little kid. <laughs> he must be starving. <laughs> We're going to get you a bowl of kibble. A huge bowl of kibble. Be careful, Wash. My inner voice tells me that that little puppy is not as cute as he seems. My shackles rose as soon as he came into the room. Poppy? But he's too cute for words. Your inner voice is mistaken, Vic. Hey, puppy kiddo, let me show you around your new home. <sighs> and there on your left is the softest bed in the entire house. Demonstration. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hey, you're a little prankster, huh? Cool it, Daddy. There's only room for one dog in this house, and that dog is me. Soon I'll be the master of the entire household. <laughs> uh, is this a joke? <laughs> Stop, guys! Watch out! Poppy! Ferocious pup! What are you talking about? Peekaboo! Huh? <laughs> <laughs> that is so, so funny, funny Poppy! <laughs> no, seriously, I mean it. Check out his fangs! <laughs> wow! You're right, Clash. That pup has a ferocious appetite. Never seen anything like it. Hey, tummy bump, kid! Wait a sec. This is not what I was trying to say. What Wash was trying to say is that this is not at all what I expected. I thought I'd found a home and some kibble, but in fact, I found friends. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, that little squirt's so annoying. Oh, he is so cute. I told you so. Should have listened to my inner voice. <laughs> One, two, three, four. <laughs> they are my friends! My house! And it's gonna stay that way! Guess who's turning up on the street later? The dog pound service. Bye bye, kid! Oh. Hmm. Are you okay, little puppy? <laughs> I can explain all this. <laughs> Wash said that there was only room for one dog in the house. That's oh. why he wanted to get rid of me. <laughs> huh? You did that, Wash? No! I, I mean, yes. I, I can explain everything. You say you're sorry right now. Promise you'll never ever do that again or else. <laughs> Sorry, Poppy. Won't happen again. Cool! So we can all play together again! Yippee! Yay! Time for me to take care of you. Your friends will soon be obeying Master Poppy! <laughs> Dream on, Squirt. <laughs> Smells like kibble. Oh, that's odd. It's not dinner time yet. <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. Huh? Oh! Just you wait till Mr. Livingstone sees this! Hey! I don't believe it! Wash! Again, Wash? Oh, poor Poppy. Come here. You won't get me this time, you little squirt. What's going on now, Wash? Huh? And you're proud of that? You bad dog! You're punished! 
You're staying in the doghouse, and you are not allowed to play with your friends until we get home. Thanks to me, you ninnies. Yeah, but let's get into you, Poppy. From now on, it's Master Poppy, Nitwit, and you'd better obey my every word. Otherwise, you're out, like your friend. Sam, do something! Yeah, uh, so you think we're scared of a fluffy little pup like you? Uh, uh, yeah, well, actually we are, but I can be ferocious too. After all, I'm a wild boy. A wild boar? What wild boar? Right here in front of you, Pipsqueak! You... you're not a real cat? Uh, no, I'm a wild beast! And not only me, Washington and Susie and Eugenie are wild too! Grrr. Which means if you don't obey me, I can blow your cover? <laughs> That's even better! <laughs> <laughs> Hey! <laughs> hey! Who does this miniature flea bag think he is? Oh, feeling unhappy about something, princess? <laughs> Out of here! Right now! Uh-oh, he threw you out too? No, he didn't, Sam did. All your buddies are now slaves to Master Poppy. Huh? Well, how is that possible? Sam told him that you are all wild animals. He's got you under his thumb. Oh, Sam, what have you done now? And uh, how do you intend to get rid of that perverse pup? By revealing his true nature to the Living Stones. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Listen up! That is so cool! Uh, you here? How dare you come back into my house? It's time to reveal little Poppy's real face. Yuck! If the Living Stone saw this wild-looking creature... They'd chase it out of the house immediately. <laughs> Now we'll see who the wild beast is! <laughs> Give me back my bunny hat right now! <laughs> oh no! We're done for! Wait a minute, Shorty. I think it's time to have a little chat. You never fail to surprise me. I promise, next time, we'll listen to your inner voice. It's better this way. Poppy will be happy in that home for little puppies who are, uh, traumatized. Hey, what's going on? Oh, poor thing. It must be abandoned. Five is enough! Huh? Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. 
the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. It's not a game. The Livingstones are getting ready for Auntie Rachel to visit. Auntie Rachel? What's that? Auntie Rachels are a subspecies of humans who are a pain in the rear because they can't stand cats. <laughs> and dogs? Do they like dogs? <laughs> dogs? Seriously, Wash? Does anyone actually like dogs? Hey. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Try and hang in there. It's only for a few days. I'm gonna prove to you that everybody loves dogs, Vic. Let the boss man do his shtick. <laughs> this should be a gas. Hey, Wash! Wash! <laughs> ah. Ah. <laughs> Washington! Dog, leave Auntie alone. Oh, now who is this splendid little creature? <laughs> oh no, my favorite pillow! No way is she going Sit to down here, my little VB. Oh, I can't watch this. What a priceless treasure! The spitting image of Apricot, my darling BB when I was a little girl. Well, this one's our Washington. Sugar Auntie. Sugar, sugar, BB. Isn't that yummy, little BB? That was a good idea to get rid of that horrible critter you used to have. Boy, did she ever stink. Uh, what critter? Uh, Victoria? Uh, but we still have her, Auntie. In fact, I'll be honest, the family has gotten much bigger. Hey there, darlings. Come say hello to Auntie Rachel. Hey, you! Get lost, you disgusting creature, you! Show! Show! Ooh, that Auntie's off her rocker! So you've got yourself three new stink balls? One wasn't enough? Sam, girls, go into the kitchen. We'll introduce you later, okay? Take a look at Auntie's BB, heavyweight champion of the world! Hey, I win some Sugar Sugars too! BB! Ah, when I hear the word Sugar Sugar, sorry guys, duty call! No, it's not fair! And all that because he's wearing a BB costume and we're not! Ah, uh, come on, quit sulking! Let's go play hide and go pig! Great idea! But it's Wash's turn to play wolf! Don't worry, we'll go get him! Last one there's a stink bomb! Hey, what? You gonna come play hide and go pick with us? Oh, sure! And it's my turn to play the wolf! Uh, uh, oh, baby! You're not playing with those ugly little stink balls! Shoo! Shoo! Out of here! No way is she gonna stop us from playing hide and go pick with what? Is everything okay, Auntie? Things couldn't be worse. Those stink balls of yours are bothering my baby and me. We're going for a walk. Yeah? Uh, very well. Uh, have a nice walk? Have a nice walk? And where, pray tell, is the stroller? The... the... stroller? Well, of course! You don't think BB's going to walk on all fours, do you? And bring me his coat, too, please. <laughs> Washington? Washington? 
<laughs> you going to a costume party? Because I have never seen such a stuff. Check out Mommy's darling little doggy. Hey, sweetheart. You want to make some room in your taxi for us? <laughs> <laughs> wow! What a pretty collar. Look at that, BB. <laughs> Shiggy Shiggy Galore is singing color. Sir Wash is leading the high life. He just doesn't have time to play hide and go pig with his friends anymore. He's got no choice, Sam. If we could only somehow console him. I've got an idea. Just make sure you're ready, okay? I've seen better days. Better? You've got a musical collar, sugar, sugar galore. Go for a stroll in a stroller. You're a star, buddy, a star. What more do you want? A mountain of sausages? You just don't understand, Sam. We dreamed of all that, sure, but with Auntie Rachel, it's not a dream. It's a nightmare. I'd rather go back and live in the forest. Hey, cheer up. It'll be over soon. Auntie will leave and everything will go back to normal. Oh, what a patch! Yeah. If she thinks for one second she can fool Auntie Rachel, she's the dumbest bird I've ever seen! The first boat out of here tomorrow morning! We? You got it! Bibby and me! I'm certainly not leaving him in this circus with a bunch of thieves and stink balls! Certainly not, Auntie. Washington is part of our family! Very well then, I'll just have to move in here. I'll have my mail forwarded tomorrow. <laughs> well, actually, you're right. It's going to be hard for us, but we really can't deprive Washington of a dream life with you. Go on. rather go back and live in the forest than with that crazy old bat? I don't believe it. He really left? Oh, poor Wash. We have to go find him. <gasps> We've got to first get rid of Auntie, otherwise Wash will never want to come home. But Auntie will never leave without her BB. If you're interested, I've got an idea. It's not like I really want to see Washington return to the house, but if it might help me get my favorite pillow back. BB has disappeared! Where's my costume? Yeah, well, um, we 
should have it any minute now. Don't worry, we got everything totally under control. I heard that. Now they make diet kibble for cats. Do you really, really want me to get Wash's costume for you? Washington. We just dropped him like an old sock. We really are bad masters. Whoa, whoa. <gasps> Washington? Good dog! You came home. Oh no! But then Andy's going to come back too! Mm -hmm. Here we are, baby! All we've got now is home, baby! Baby! <laughs> Honey, we got a card from Annie Rachel. Keep wash, she says. She has just adopted an ostrich who reminds her of Cherry, the ostrich she had when she was a little girl. See, Wash, but if she comes back one day. Yes, yeah, Sam, promise. You can still keep the collar. Hmm? <laughs> oh, no! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Mud in your eyes or what? It looks like a vacuum cleaner. It's so obvious. So, so, did you get it? Did you get it? Did you get it? Got it! Whoa! Magnificent, my dear Alvarez! Your tattoo is totally awesome! What? A tattoo? Now that is classy! A tattoo? What's a tattoo? Oh, it's a drawing you do on your skin. You never watch tattoo TV? Yeah! It's almost time for a show! You coming, Eugenie? So, what'd you get tattooed? An eagle? A mermaid? So, where is it? Well, there, of course. Numbers? <laughs> I do not believe it. That's the dumbest tattoo I've ever seen. Uh, didn't you just say the tattoos were so classy? For sure. Except Alvarez's. <laughs> well, does our tattoo expert at least know that all dogs and cats must be tattooed? It's the law. <laughs> My master is just checking and making sure the neighbors are following the new regulation. Uh, 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 for sure. I knew that. Yeah, you knew that? I sure didn't. Of course we knew that, Sam! No, but uh, seriously, your tattoo is super cool. What tattoo parlor did you go to get it done? Tattoo parlor? I went to the vet to have it done, silly. Super soft. Two ply, 12 rolls. Three ply, six for. Uh, there. Furry comfy. Are we even out of it? Huh. Tattoo TV, the show that knows all about... Tattoos! Mr. Livingstone is doing his shopping online. It's now or never, Sam. He'll be the lookout. Tattoo, tattoo. Bingo! Whoa! These ones are way too awesome. I knew you didn't have to go to the vet for one. What a loser that poor old Alvarez is. And voila! Meow! Meow! Furry comfy. Exactly what we need. Your order has been confirmed. Congratulations. <laughs> you have just won four free rolls of our Christmas special toilet paper. Available oh, in wow. your Wow! Did you hear that, honey? Mr. Livingstone, you rule. Let's go right this second. Did it, huh? Mm hmm I sure hope that Mr. Livingstone chose the same delivery. <laughs> Mr. Livingstone's delivery. Ta-da! Check it out, Sam. Who rules now, huh? 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 Now, isn't this classy? Wow! Yeah, you guys are awesome! Whoa! You guys.
was a heavyweight. Oh, yeah. You look amazing with those. <laughs> Especially you, Wash. Oh, yeah. More like big time vulgar, I'd say. Huh? Seriously? Is this a joke or what? <laughs> Forget it. He's just jealous of our cool tattoos. <laughs> Come on. We're going to go show off our stuff to someone else. Yeah, Victoria. Oh. If I'm in here, it's precisely so you'll leave me alone. Hey, come on, you've slept enough already. Look. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Now all you need is some long hair going down your neck and you'll be perfect. Hmm. You really think so? <laughs> nope. Forget it, Sam. She's jealous, too. Let's see your tattoo. Ooh, a number? <laughs> Just like Alvarez? How super cool is that? <laughs> if we have numbers tattooed in our ears, it's not to look cool, you fools. It's so we can be identified. Wait a sec. You mean that that's why all dogs and cats have to tattoo silly, ugly numbers in their ears? <laughs> And now, this month's Top 10 Tattoos! Awesome! Wash, what are we going to do? First, we gotta think, Sam. If the Living Stones see our tattoos, they're gonna look closely at our costumes and realize who we are. So we've got to... Hey there, guys! Yes! <laughs> really is our lucky day. Oh, you'll never believe this, honey. But with the four rolls we just picked up, why, we want eight more that we can pick up right now! <laughs> We absolutely have to get rid of these tattoos! I'm sure this will do the job. Hey! Stop everything now! Tattoos, they're for life! Yeah. Full teenage rebellion, John Bruce tattoos his torso. Little does he know that this rash decision is for life. Huh? But after years of despair, John Bruce discovers that certain hospital surgeons are able to remove tattoos with laser treatment. Lasers? Aren't those used in outer space films? That's cool, Sam. All they have to do is aim well so they can only disintegrate the tattoos. No, what's going to be the hardest is finding the lasers. How the heck do we get up into outer space? Huh? Can we go to the amusement park instead? It's right nearby. And besides, they've got tons of flying lasers there. Awesome idea, Susie. Sam, we're out of here. Not a second to lose. Retreat, everybody. We're going back through the kitchen. Perfect time. I was looking for you. It's about your pets. All your pets have been tattooed, I presume? Uh, yes, yes, of course. <laughs> because that is the law. Any animal who has not been tattooed shall be considered wild, and as a consequence, sent to the local pal. <laughs> Perfect timing. Did you know that animals who have not been appropriately tattooed are totally forbidden from going out in the yard? Sorry, that's the law. After all, we cannot have just any old wild animal hanging out around here. Hey there, sweetie pies. Where are you? Quick, Sam, let's hide all this. Come on now, Wash. Be a good dog. Let go of Sam. We have to go see the vet to get your tattoos. Leave them alone, honey. They're stressed out. It's normal. Don't worry. The vet will know how to reassure them. <laughs> Perhaps we should also ask the vet to give them a checkup. Wash, what are we going to do? We've got to stay like this, Sam. If the vet sees our tattoos, he's going to look at our costumes and then we'll be goners! Hmm. 
is a fake. What a bummer. Where can we find your real laser now? Yeah. Real aliens? Incredible! Hey, guys! Huh? Hey, wait! What are you doing around here? <laughs> oh, no, they're gone. Yes, but look! They forgot their stuff. Do you think it's fake, too? Wow! It works! Mr. and Mrs. Livingstone, the vet will see your pets now. You can wait here. It won't take long. <laughs> wow! If I go back to the supermarket in less than an hour, I can win ten <laughs> new rolls of toilet paper. Ten! <laughs> can you believe that, honey? <laughs> They were inseparable, Vladimir, but that shouldn't stop you from being able to tattoo their ears. Are you serious, Velma? I wouldn't know who I'm tattooing. Sam or Wash, Web or Sash. Well, in that case, why don't you separate them yourself? So, you were right. This has gone on long enough. Wash? What is he doing? He's giving up, Sam. He realized that it's impossible to separate us. <laughs> That's good, Java. There's nothing like freshly ground coffee. <laughs> you, you, you found the laser? So, who's the best? Awesome! My eagle has flown away! No doubt about it. It's one of the most beautiful tattoos I've ever done, right? <laughs> yep, we got tattoos now too. And check it out, our numbers are even way higher than yours. Huh, ridiculous. And thank you guys for the helping hand. You did a great job on this one. That's kind of you, Sam. But you better thank the alien. Thank you, you too, alien, alien friends. friends. Honey. The supermarket was hosting a contest on their website, and I won oh. my weight in toilet paper. Can you help me carry it inside? Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. We'll be back tomorrow. Don't get up to anything naughty. Yeah. Look how cute they are. Whatever could go wrong. A whole weekend alone. Awesome. <laughs> this is going to be the longest weekend of the year. Yeah, we can sit in front of the TV and eat everything we want. And above all, we can totally hang loose. <laughs> Straight from the forest floor! Really? Maybe it's time to clean our outfits. You sure, Wash? Remember last time, it didn't go well at all. Yep, but this time, I found the instructions. So everything's gonna be hunky-dory. <laughs> it's easy, you'll see. Any fox cub could do it. I can't wait to see this. With you around, generally the word easy means catastrophe. There we go. Now, I just have to press this little boy. <laughs> awesome. I know how low you guys can sink, but this time, you've really excelled yourself, Wash. You don't believe it. 
What am I going to do with this? Hmm. You could play dolls. I don't understand what happened. That machine is completely nuts. The Living Stones have to get a new one. All we can do now is um, order new costumes. <laughs> nice try, Susie. I don't like to be the one to tell you, but dogs don't bark like that. Believe me, it takes years of experience like I've had to pull it off right. Zoe, I do a great puppy. And what's more, I've always dreamed of being a dog. I wouldn't have missed this for the world. And it's so much more fun than being a bird disguised in a bird. Order placed. Our new costumes arrive tomorrow. Until then, we can just take it easy and enjoy a TV marathon! I'm done with dance routines. Let's see what else there is. We are very honored today to have Professor Jones in the studio, the well-known hunter and collector of rare species and unusual specimens. His museum contains wonders of the animal world, many unfamiliar to man. Wow! So, Professor, what do you make of this footage of a small flying dog that has gone viral on social media? <laughs> is it a hoax or is it a genuine scientific discovery? I'm not quite sure. But what we do know is that evidence of this legendary creature's existence can be found in many sources. Sometimes it plays a role of messenger to the heavens, but in later writings it appears as a retriever of sacred flying discs and as an archivist of bones. <laughs> Joking aside, if the creature does exist, you can be sure I shall track it down and you'll have all the answers you need. Everybody saw it! And now there's a unicorn hunter who's coming to get you! Yeah, you're sure to be a big hit in his unusual specimen gallery. Okay, let's not go overboard. He'll never be able to track us down. You reckon, Washington? Then what is that outside? <laughs> he would have recognized the house from the video. He's good. I don't want to be stuffed. Quick, you gotta get that costume off, Susie. Why? <laughs> hey, hands off! I don't want to take off my new costume. I want to stay being a dog. <laughs> Just when I thought you can sink any lower. You're on your own here, guys. Uh-oh, uh sounds like it's coming from the garden. For cover! Yeah. <laughs> hmm. The owners must have gone away for the weekend. Good. I can set up my equipment. Hmm. Atrocious craftsmanship. That fox has a ridiculous face. And such coarse fur. Well, anyway, I have a job to do. Time to get moving, old fellow. Huh? What do you mean I have coarse fur and a ridiculous face? What are we going to do? He's gonna come back. We can't stay in the house. You're right, Eugenie. We have to get outside. We'll go hide in the garden shack. <laughs> when he notices there's nobody in the house, he'll leave. In the meantime, we have to get that costume off again. <laughs> Ever forget Susie? And we forgot to have dinner. I'm starving. Totally, totally starving. Oh, I'll never be able to hold out. Well, we don't have much choice. We have to get back inside that house and find Susie before Professor Jones does. Infrared check. Movement sensors check. 
Gamma rays check. Garden and house traps check. Hmm, that flying dog will never escape my clutches. Nobody move! Jones thinks he's clever, but little does he know he's dealing with an expert in cutting edge laser technology. <laughs> Smooth move, expert! Movement detected. Run! Take cover! <laughs> Sam! Jump back! <laughs> There's no way I'm gonna skip a meal! is mine! Hi, oh my! Sam has fallen asleep in his kibble bowl! Again! Mm -hmm. Let's go! We're the only ones who can save them now! Yay! Suzy! Target defined. House cat. A vulgar house cat? <laughs> time to pull out the heavy artillery. This time you won't get away. No dog can resist this. Not even a flying dog. Calm down, girls. We still have to get rid of Professor Jo- You'll see if I'm a real dog or not, Water! Uh, Susie! Come back! This must be a trap! <laughs> no! Susie! <laughs> At last! Soon this flying dog will be stuffed and exhibited in my museum. <laughs> What are we gonna do to save Susie? And where's Sam disappeared to? I must have died and gone to heaven. What? What on earth? Are you sure this is really necessary? Incredible! I've hit the jackpot. What fantastic specimens! They must be mine! Use this diversion tactic to release Susie from the truck. I'll go look for Sam indoors! <laughs> Sam! It's me! Quick, we gotta reach Susie and Eugenie before Jones arrives! That's enough flying dogs for one day. Phew! Right, let's get out of here. What? <laughs> a fox, two balls, and a blackbird? I've never seen anything so mundane. <laughs> All that effort for nothing. Uh -huh. A flying snake has been detected in the southern region of... A dragon! Shoot! <laughs> How dare he call us mundane? Here we go! Our new costumes have arrived! Uh, oh. uh, maybe I got the sizes wrong. I don't believe it! You see that? It fits like a glove! I've always dreamed of being a bird! I can fly! Yeah. I never thought you guys could sink quite so low, but looks like I got it wrong again. <laughs> <laughs> 